that gorgeous case, version 2 here with Yakuza Dead Souls. And today, in the most unique content that Dead Souls has for a Yakuza game, we're doing hostesses today. Um, this zombie game still has hostesses. So we're going to be visiting hostesses today. Yay! <laughs> so let us, let us head on. Actually, before I head on, I was saying this right before. I don't actually know. Did I buy any items already to make myself more fuckable? I have the lucky bracelet, but that's for drops. So if I go to armor, I do not. I do not. No. So what we need to do first before we start seducing the hostesses and just don't worry about the zombies, it's fine. I wonder if they'll even mention the zombies. I wonder if it will even come up in any capacity. Anything about the zombies. Because it probably won't. Actually, question. Okay, yeah. I was about to say. I was about to say, there's an entrance to underneath the Millennium Tower here. Have they done anything with this? Okay. I feel like zombies are going to burst through here at one point. Because this connects to everywhere, and there's zombies, like, right on the other side of this gate. And, uh, the military don't have one of their giant barriers here, so I feel like this is a weak point. Also, them just getting in through the back of the Millennium Tower, because it's just an elevator. Just the entire time we've just left that as an elevator. But yes, our first, uh, objective, before we go to the hostesses, we're gonna go down to the pawn shop. Because they should have, like, at least one or two items... That makes us more attractive. Not that Akihama of all fucking people needs help being more attractive. But. We can't get those video game hearts to really juice up and get fat as hell. Without wearing a pretty bracelet or a nice shirt. So we'll do that first. And I'm realizing I'm going to waste all my money on this. I'm looking at the thing here. Um, Dencha has sent me the guide that someone has written in um, Sir Xyz style. For the hostesses. And yeah, we're gonna spend money on every stir. It's gonna be a whole thing, but you know. We're the bloody rags. <laughs> we're trying to make this as fast as possible, not as slow as possible. Why does this game have hostesses? Why? Actually, you know what? If this game has hostesses, that means we get to see Marjamit interact with hostesses. You know what? It might be worth it for that alone. If Marshama can visit hostesses in this game, it'll be worth it for that alone. Because that will be awesome. <laughs> Never mind, this might- it may actually work out. Okay. Oh, it's only 29k. Um, I assume there's nothing else. Lucky bracelet? No. I mean, maybe. There's no, like, dragon show or anything here. So, let's just go Lady Killer. It is something. It is something. Isn't this the thing that's called the charisma or the popularity bracelet on the other ones? But in this one, they've just called it Lady Killer in a bind. I mean, Lady Killer. Me about to ask, should I stream that game? Knowing full well that there's no fucking way I could stream that on Twitch. I should also play it. I should also play it. Have I played it? I'm now realizing that I say the name of the game and I'm now thinking off the top of my head and I don't know if it's one that I've played. I feel like there's about three different games I could be confusing it with and I don't actually know um, which one it is. I'm now not actually sure. I'm now not actually sure. Either way. Either way. Either way. I wouldn't get away with doing it on... On stream. Though, the name of that does remind me that uh, Paradise Killer is another one that people really want, um, have wanted me to do. But, uh, enough talking about good video games. Let's go do hostess content in Yakuza. <laughs> it is amazing how many hostesses there have been in Yakuza. And how there's like, four good ones. <laughs> They've had so many and there's been maybe four that are good. Is my fan rotating? No it is. This is barely rotating. Would you like to enter? Sure. Very well, sir. All oh, right, we have to do the um, no request. We'll have to do the intro thing, won't we? Now back to ignoring the zombie apocalypse. Hey, Valen. His eye. We've definitely had women in previous games named I. 
Post this on Nensel specifically is the nichest of niche content. <laughs> yeah, we're not just doing like the niche Yakuza game. I just, no, no, no. The nichest of niche. The nichest of niche is uh, hostess content in um, Black pa in Yakuza Black Panther. If those games have hostesses, which I'm pretty sure they do, that's the nichest of niche content. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Ooh, I bet. I didn't even take office work over this. What are you talking about, Akiyama? Draw outside the office then. Hmm? Just a little zombie issue. Okay, so we are gonna bring it up. Okay, so, okay. I was saying this before. If we mention, if zombies and the situation in the city comes up in this, it could actually be somewhat unique uh, hostess content. And it is coming up. Zombies? Oh, did you just get a, a scary movie? <laughs> and it tired you out? That's adorable. I wish you were right. Ha ha ha. Never mind, that might be the entire mention. That might be the entire mention of it, never mind. Do you watch anime, Akiyama? Anime? Oh, Akiyama doesn't watch anime? Quite a few series. Um, uh, now that I aimed at a female audience, you'd be surprised at how many hostesses are fans. I'm more into the kids shows, though. They're all kids shows back in the day. Now they've got hit, oh, crazy ones airing in the middle of the night. I don't know if all anime back in the day was kid stuff. Isn't like fucking Ghost in the Shell and Evangelion and like Elf and Lied, aren't they like relatively old anime that are definitely not for kids? Well, uh, is Evangelion suitable for kids? I have no idea. I have no idea. I hear Evangelion's fucked up, so I'm going to assume no. But I also feel like everyone I know who watched Evangelion watched it when they were 13, so there's also that. Well done, the sleep pallet, it's all takes sense at uh, once die in the first pull of triple ice. <gasps> there are, for some reason, that first pull in the world of darkness gets so many wipes, and I don't know how. Actually, I know exactly how, it's because people don't realise that you have to interrupt their attacks. But that's how. Maybe when my schedule clears up a bit. Maybe when I'm not killing zombies. Alright, bye, I. Yeah, we have to do this. Well, this is that. To be fair, this is Akiyama, uh, Akiyama uh, back in his day, it was a while. Back in his day when he was a kid is like the 80s. He was born in the 80s. <laughs> he would have been born in the 80s. Possibly? That's still... Isn't Ghost in the Shell from the 80s or 90s? Evangelion might be a little bit later, I don't actually know. And again, I think I thought Ulf and Light was like not the, the, the 90s. And that's like pretty very much not for children. I mean, there's, like, explicit hentai stuff that's older, but that's also very different. <laughs> that's That doesn't quite fall under the same um, purview as anime. <laughs> do you anything outside of hostess work, Yuri? I do. I work at a nursery school. Nursery right? school. So as far from working at a hostess club as it gets. <laughs> You'd be surprised. They're all about taking care of the people you're with. I guess I'm just the nurturing oh. sort. Must be. I'm not so good with kids. What do you do for a living, Akiyama? I run a place called Sky Finance. We do loans. Must be pretty rich then, huh? I guess I do all right, but I still don't like to waste what I have. I usually don't ask for specific girls unless I'm hooked either. <laughs> huh? And how am I doing in that department? You're still in the running. Oh, come on. And Erica, hello. Wow, it's gonna be hard to forget your name, jeez. <laughs> Uh, American Mizushima, um, uh, Mi uh, Mizushima. I think that's the first person who's given us their last name as well. Ooh, we've got a live one here. Erica, huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> I like how Akiyama's just like, Hey, I actually care about you. You're interesting. Akiyama. What's your name? Should Akiyama. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Seem like an old pro at the nightlife, Akiyama-san. I better be careful. <laughs> that means I'm a pro at having fun. <laughs> Sit back and let the master do the work. Oh, the assertive type. How many women have you burned through with that kind of charm? <laughs> Quite a few, I'll bet. A wolf in gentleman's clothing, that's you. Boy, boy. Hey now, I'm not like it gets gobbled up by women, not the other way around. Really? Hmm, not sure I believe you. The type of women that he's into, that'd be the case. The type of women he's into, just look at Lily. <laughs> 
Who's the woman that he fell for in Yakuza 4? Oh, just the murderer. <laughs> you think I'm lying? Yeah, you're fun to tease anyway. I'll give you that. I mean, and also the woman that he was engaged to beforehand. The woman that he was engaged to beforehand as well. Also that. Also that. Who also just looks like Yasuko. Oh, where's the time gone? You guys need to close up? Close up? I went super fast. You're time to find a talk to Akiyama san. You too. I wish you had more time to keep chatting. I bet you say that to all the boys. <gasps> da -na 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 -na. <laughs> that a little harsh? I'm not just saying that. I mean it. You gotta doubt me. Sorry, I was just kidding. <laughs> Make it up to me by asking for me next time. I knew it. <laughs> Cat on it. I think we've, got, we've really got something to. Yeah? Yay! What is that? What? You just BSing me? <laughs> Turnabout's fair play. That, I used to tell you it was yesterday. The customers lie just as bad as the hostesses they come in to see. Better keep your guard up. <laughs> I knew you were pro at this. We're lying to each other all the time when we're in the hostess stuff. Damn! It's, it's almost like Akiyama's view on how hostess stuff goes is just the song about pure love and Kamarucho. That lines up very well for him. Because that's what that entire song's about. Alright, well that's... Okay. So what, what the fuck do I do if I run out of money, by the way? How do we make money in this zombie game? Can I sell off my scraps? Do we go farm cutie girl figures? How do we make money in the zombie game? No one type in Mahjong. No one do that. Or Shoji, or Pachinko. I'd say it's the Colosseum in this game, but you don't really need one. There's also no like hand-to-hand -hand fighting. So it wouldn't really work, would it? Oh, okay. I have to go check my email manual. It doesn't immediately go to it. It's Erica. Thanks for stopping by today. I had a good time. Time really flies out of talking with you, Akiyama-san. I hope to hear more of your stories someday. All right, and back in we go. D damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. All right, okay. I'm just looking at the list of all the stuff to do. Gotta look at all, all of the stuff that we're gonna do. Hello, sir. Welcome to Shine. Would you like to enter our establishment? I would. Very well, sir. Would you like to request someone? Erica. If I go in with no request, now that we have Erica, what happens? Do we just get the intro one again? <laughs> Hello, Erica. Likewise. What should we order? What are we ordering? What are we ordering? Um, white champagne's expensive, so we're just gonna get orange juice. Orange juice is a thousand and he gets half a heart. So we're gonna do that. Orange juice. Never would have figured orange juice. And are you hungry? Dried Raven. I still have the question. The Raven, is that legal or is that soups illegal? I feel like, I mean, I know shark fin's the illegal one. What about Raven? All right, we'll take this. Can you buy plates of those uh, zombie mission points? That is true, I can do that. I can do that. I'm, I think I can only get the bronze ones? I think we bought... Did we buy the silver one from the pawn shop, or did we buy the silver one with points? Because, yes, that's how we make money. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just pressed X on the smoking thing and I think it skipped it. Can I skip cutscenes in this? <gasps> Are we going to save a few minutes because I can skip the, all the things at the start? Pog. <laughs> so long have you been working here, Erica? Mm. Well, let's see. I started right after moving out to Tokyo, so I guess it'll be six months now. I was, I was about to say, the way she, that she was talking looked like it was specific. Your can't say. Ta-da! I'm from Osaka, see, but I moved up here to make it as a model. Oh, wow. Pretty serious about it if you're willing to pick up and move. 
You bet. It's my dream to be a supermodel. <laughs> oh, it's an amateur work in my spare time now. Like sending in shots of fashion mags and such. It's great. And like you're doing a lot more than just dreaming. You're making it happen. Need to learn for it. <laughs> Got a long way left to go though. Not stop until I'm a cover girl. What do you think, Akiyama? Do I have what it takes to be a cover girl? Sorry, but I don't know much about the model numbers. Oh, what's your gut say? You're a sure bet. I'm not surprised. You're a sure bet because you're hot. You got that supermodel aura to you. Oh, you really think so? I don't know much about modeling, but I do know how to read people. You'll go far, I promise. I'm sure you say that to all the girls. But I'm just calling it how I say it. <laughs> so sure I believe you, but I'll give you points for trying. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Ooh, I'm thirsty. White champagne? No. That's the 40k one. No. Because it's too expensive. I need money for guns. I'm like a natural born gambler. Just real lucky, you know? Especially at Mahjong. Shut up. I'm all, it's almost scary how good I am. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I work with Gusma sometimes and I almost never lose. You play Mahjong at all? A bit. Akiyama lied. We'll have to play some time then with high stakes. I'm shaking in my boots already. How about the loser has to be asleep for a day, shave their head, cook. Cook. Cook's the non-creepy one. Cook. That's the cook for the winner. What do you say? You want food? Like that's all? Well, I thought you might take more advantage of this kind of situation. Eh, I feel relieved just yet. I'm a foodie. It takes a lot to impress me. Ah, uh, you think you're going to win? Well, I'll be coming for you with guns blazing too. Look forward to that. We got all sorts of restaurants up here in Tokyo, but I haven't seen many spots serving clams. Clams? You're into clams? Oh yeah! I love them! Fried up like they're serving resort towns. They pipe in hot balls of amazing. That's safe food. I can't I can't get behind this. Yeah? Yeah! And I started talking about them, I really want some. I'm not that personally. I'm not a fan. No! No! The stream disconnected. No! Oh no! It's re- it's- what the hell? Do I have internet? <laughs> Do I have internet currently? Do I actually have internet? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I don't think I have internet. Fuck! No! <laughs> Shit! Oh, uh, my internet just died. My internet just died. That's a concern. Like, my entire internet's down. Because nothing is lo is loading here. Sometimes it does this with small outages, but it hasn't happened for a while. Alright, well... I'm just gonna keep going and we'll see what it does. It's still recording, so, you know. It'll be fine. I'm not a fan of clams. Fuck clams, they're seafood. I will, s I will say... I will say... Maybe clams and oysters and stuff. May like, the mollusk things. Maybe I'd be okay with those. I feel like whenever I've had someone around me who's eaten like clams or oysters or anything like that, I cannot smell it the way I smell normal seafood. Because normal seafood, I can smell it and it's horrifying. And I'm just like, oh! But I can't smell oysters and clams usually. Can people hear me? Can you see me now? Let's go get some clams, apparently. Can people see me? Well, then let's go get some. Are you free tonight? You're asking me out on an after-hours date? Hmm, I don't know. You said you wanted clams, didn't you? Aww. Well, okay. Oh, phone loud. <laughs> I think it's telling me that it's reconnecting. Although we've gotten to know each other a little bit, I'll totally take you up on that offer. <laughs> so I should keep coming back to see you, huh? Somebody's a good salesperson. Ha! <laughs> Busted, am I? Seriously, though, you'll have to take me, um, take me out sometime in the future. Oh. It's a promise. It's getting to be that time. Yeah, first visit, no extensions. 16k! Oh dear god. Am I back, by the way? If anyone can hear me, can you respond? I don't know if I'm actually back. My internet is saying it's back. And OBS says it is. But also... The Twitch website. I am back! So, okay. Stream elements isn't updating. Okay. I will need to fix stream. Okay, stream elements isn't updating. Let me refresh that. Uh, how do I do that? I forget how I do that. There we go. <laughs> stream elements. Okay, refresh cache of that. There we go. 
Okay, now... Now if I send a, a missile, do we get it? There we go. There we go. I am returned. My internet cut out for a second there. Thanks for coming in. You missed the question about clams. God could not handle clams. Yeah, uh, yeah. internet is cutting out for a couple seconds. That used to happen more frequently. It hasn't happened for a while. Concerning that it happened just then. Hopefully it's not a consistent thing. Now we get the text immediately. Thanks for requesting me today. I'll do my best to show you a good time, so remember my name. So anyway, I get real hungry when I'm nervous. I think I'll grab a bite to eat. I feel like something fatty and delicious, but I better hold back. You said clams! The seventh humble calamity. God hated clams. I send out Bahamut to kill everyone. Alright. Too many rich foods aren't good for you. I take you out to something nice sometime. Uh, nice sometime one. Yeah. That's, yeah. Question's easy. There we go. That ought to do it. I feel like the answers in Yakuza 4 and so far in this have been a lot easier to into it what it will be. Yakuza 3 had weird fucking answers. I meant to say Twitch. Why did I type God? God can't handle clams. God hates clams. Specifically killed my internet to stop talking about clams. That's what happens. That's what happens. Hey, Erica. Can you be can you believe that this woman has like a giant thing like on her body that just says her name? How ridiculous would that be? Sorry, my arm's just really itchy. How ridiculous would it be if someone just had something on their body that was just their name? Good to see you. So I can't imagine about how hungry I was. I was good. I didn't eat a thing. You've got to eat something if you're hungry. I'm impressed. I would have gone and gorged on Muhammad myself. If you're hungry, eat something. Jesus. <laughs> Guess I'm just a stronger person than you. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's have that meal you promised. All right, a deal's a deal. You look at fancy. A present. Here, uh, here's a present. This is 64 shotgun shells. Trust me, you'll consider it a present. What should we order? We're getting orange juice. We're getting the orange juice. And we're getting the dried rapin. Speaking of ramen, does it count as homemade ramen? If I just make sesame oil soup and I shove ramen noodles into it. <laughs> Oh my god, you can! Oh, you can skip those cutscenes in this! Oh my god! Oh my god, they actually let you skip the um the eating and drinking and smoking ones. Oh my god, you can actually skip them. How's that you been treating you? Running any problems here? Mm, well, rent's crazy high and all, but the biggest thing's food. That's right, you want clams. Yeah, but it's not just that. You guys don't do okonomi sets either. Like a um okonomi yaki meal, you mean? With the rice and all the rest? Yeah, I guess not. So, so the localizers of this game go, Akiyama-san, that's too weird. The white people won't understand what Akiyama-san means, even though the characters say it out loud. But, um, Okonomiyaki, that's fine. Okay. Rayfish is safe and legal. Well, there you go. I feel like I ask this in every Yakuza game whenever we do hostess content, because I always just think of shark food. I always just think of shark food and how that's super illegal. Your takiyaki tastes different here, and you put way more soy sauce in your soba. It's a different food culture, I guess. Why don't I send one from both? Because your food ain't as good! You can learn a thing or two from us Kansai folk. I think it's got good food. I prefer Kansai cooking too. I would not know enough of the difference between different regions of Japan. I mean, I buy those Nissin instant noodles, and like, they've got the Hokkaido miso, and I really like that one. The Tokyo Shoyu is a bit too plain for me. And part of the ingredient is fish cake, so I don't put that into there because I don't like the fish cake taste in it. The one that I like is the Kyushu one, because the Kyushu one's the um, roasted garlic one, and that's delicious to sell. I, I, I always thought that um, shoyu was my um, my favorite ramen to have at places, because I prefer I prefer shoyu, um, like non-tonkotsu um, shoyu over like um, just tonkotsu and tonkotsu shoyu. I prefer that, but then I've had miso broth, and I'm just like, oh, the miso one's pretty good. 
And I haven't had roasted garlic at an actual ramen joint, but having the instant one, I think that would probably be my favorite. The shadow ramen, as um, the world interview would refer to it as. Apparently, Akiyama first cast that cooking too. Actually, the udon especially. Is udon what fucking Majima and what's his name like went to that tiny little store for? Or did they get soba? I don't remember. They went for one of them. Like, the, that little thing that's in the park. They went there and, like, the guy was just like, no matter how rich you go, this little place, this has got the best one. I think it was Udon, um, Udon or Soba. I've still never had Soba. Which is an entirely different type than Udon, so I'd be, I'd be interested for that. I do quite like Udon. I do quite like Udon. Right? You know your stuff, akiyama son. There are places in Tokyo that serve Kansai style food, you know. I can take you to one. Money? Serious? That'd be amazing. I'll email you then. Alright. Well, that solves my food problem. <laughs> I aim to please. Food rent. We're in a hostess thing. I'm allowed to food rent when they're li when the literally the characters in the game are food renting. I'm allowed to then. So you got a secret talent, Akiyama san? I'm killing zombies, apparently. Mm. Wow. If I had to say something, I guess accounting? I'm good with money. Oh, I would have figured you for the math type. Guess looks can be deceiving. Ouch. What about you then? Believe it or not, I play a mean clarinet. Wait, really? I never would have guessed that. <laughs> I went to a rich girl school, played in the orchestra. Uh, you'll have to play for me sometime, because that's just the flirty one. Yeah, the options here are much easier to guess on Yark. Yakuza 3 was the weird one of trying to get the correct answers. Yakuza 3 was the fucking weird one from memory. I would constantly just look at the, th the guide and just be like, bullshit! Let's play for me sometime. Whatever your best song is. Sure. And I can play anything, as long as I got the shape music. Bach, Schubert, you name it. Oh, you play classical stuff? <laughs> what kind of orchestra don't? Most stuff for clarinet's classical. Oh, yeah? Sorry, that's all kind of out of my league. Come on to talk to our game, son. I get to feel all superior. <laughs> Might be thirsty, Akiyama san. I'm in the mood for a drink. I'm a game of you are. How much can you handle? More than you, probably. <laughs> can be kind of a bad drunk, though. Yeah? How so? Oh, I'll start punching folks in the head or just start bawling like a baby. I like the first one. You know, cute stuff. Actually, that sounds pretty scary. Oh, it'll be fine. Let's get drinking. We can chat the night away. <laughs> the important thing to remember is like, you know, when food has a lot of collagen, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> Fucking, because the pigs have got their collagen in the way that they cook the pig. I'm still gonna try Goya. I, uh, Yakuza 3 was so long ago at this point. I still have to, I still have to try Goya, because I bet I would like it. I bet I would like it. If it's anything like Sour Sap, which it has no reason to be, I was just an idiot and bought Sour Sap because I thought the picture of it looked like Goya. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Though the Asian grocer that I bought it from doesn't have it at the moment. Um, or haven't had it for like the last many times that I've checked, so I was like, oh. Just be smart about it. Oh, okay, I don't, oh no, no, you're just challenging, okay, you're just challenging no drinking competition. I can grind to me when I add drink you. I'm like a booze Olympian. Yeah, that sounds like a challenge. Just don't push it. Northern ruins a, uh, ruins a fun evening like having a gentleman friend hold your hair back while you vomit. Oh, and a nice guy too. You keep getting better and better, Mr. Uh, uh, Akiyama-san. I know my limits. I'll be good. Don't worry. <laughs> Not too good, I hope. No, speaking of Asian grocer. Speaking of Asian grocer, the Asian grocer that I stopped at yesterday because I needed to buy... Well, I tried to buy egg noodles, and then they didn't have any. Well, they had egg noodles, but I'm like looking for specific noodles because of what I'm cooking. I They did. They, they've now gotten fucking um, the buns at the front. They've got all the different ones, and I had a red bean bun, and oh my god, it was so tasty. It was so fucking good. I don't know how people don't like red bean stuff. I really don't. Red bean is so fucking delicious. And just something about and also there's something about Asian bread that's just like the I, Asian bread is like the right level of sweetness that bread should have. It's not the incredibly over the top sweet that American bread is, but it's not the literally no sweet and it's just wheat and it's boring bread that I get in a lot of places here. Asian bread is like that specific level of sweetness that is just right for breads. One of the girls at work been getting a ton of requests since she dyed her hair black and straightened it out. Oh yeah, people are into the goths. Yeah? You see a lot of girls with wilder hair these days. Oh yeah! Black and straightened. So out there. Playing it normal is one way to see yourself apart. Maybe I should try something new too. 
What's Lettuce Salad would you recommend? Hmm. Oh! Oh, okay. I would recommend getting your hair to look like your boobs. <laughs> Get your hair to match your boobs. A little disappointing, but hey! Akiyama, what the fu- Oh, she's got fishnets. Her legs are- Akiyama, are you right there, buddy? Can't stare at the ass. The hands? The fingers are so slow. Where am I- Where am I staring at? Where am I staring at? Where am I staring at? Look at her hair. Of course I'm looking at her hair when she mentions it. Gotta remember different riding team. This Aww. is true. This is true. If you're gonna change your style up, here's an easy start. Maybe go short? Mm. Short, huh? Stuff to do much with it then though. You're just stuck with what you got. You can always mix it up with some extensions or a wig when you want. Why not give it a shot? Yeah, yeah I guess alright. I'll toss the stars next time I go in for a cut. I look forward to seeing the results. Was Yakuza 0 when they started with the, um... No! I'm watching. Was Yakuza 0 when they started with, um, the new localizers? I'm gonna leave here, because that extra half a heart we'll get from karaoke. Eh. Zero was the, uh, was, was Scott's team? Mm. Is he still... Is, 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 is... Scott's still not... Scott doesn't work with them anymore, right? But obviously he trained up the team well enough to know what, what they're doing and stuff like that. I think last time I saw uh, saw him post on Twitter, he was like, I don't work for um, Rika Gotoku anymore. Or maybe I'm thinking of someone else there. We'll come again soon? Sure. Pinky things. Like a Dragon was his last one? Oh, okay. Though that being, that being said, now that I'm thinking about it, there wouldn't have been many games between... Did Yakuza 5 get localized before Zero? Because I know that like 1, 2, like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4... And then this one got localized. Obviously, this one got localized because I'm playing it. Five was before zero. Because uh, I know there was a long wait for five to get localized in the West. There was a long ass wait for it. Gonna uh, play Mahjong with a friend today. I'm ready to win. Wish me uh, luck, huh? I'll show you. A <laughs> I'll show the others a thing or two. So we piece of cake. Let you know when I win. Uh, look for easy opponents. Scott worked on zero Kawami, six Kawami, two Judgment, and seven. Okay. Well, I, I imagine they've got the groove down now of um, the localization that a single person not being there for the localizing team isn't going to, like, completely change it. Unless a new person takes over the, the top of it, who is completely different, but I imagine that wouldn't be the case. Hello, it's me, Erica from Shine. Oh, hey, Erica, what's up? Just wondering if you were free, thinking we can meet up after hours. Sure, I'd love to. Let's meet at the front of Millennium Tower. We can actually go to... the yeah, we can still go to the front of Millennium Tower. We can still go to the front of Millennium Tower. So... Will the front of Millennium Tower never be taken over then? Because we always have to meet hostesses here. <laughs> oh, you're being, you're being harassed by a bunch of people. What's with those guys? Go on, just a drink! I'm bomb, what's the problem? I already got a date, now back off. So text the guys, say you can't make it. Mind if I put in? Aww. Ah, Akiyama-san. Sorry, but the young lady and I don't have arrangements in the evening. You guys mind getting lost? Ah, the saying you're beautiful. And Kamurocho Mena, Kamurocho Mena as always. Alright. Yeah, so they knew me from the Mahjong Parlor, but I didn't recognize them. It's even worse than just random guys hoping to score. But then you showed up and chased them off. <laughs> Happy to do it. So, you ready to go? Hang out, karaoke, let's go, fuck yeah, because it's the fastest. Actually, the fastest is eating, but we have to hear the songs, but we have to hear the songs. We've got to hear Pure Love and Kamarucho about 14 times across this entire series. Got to hear Akiyama sing it with Hana, with every hostess in four, with the hostesses here, with the computer here as we did earlier. Now, she, she'll likely also have her own song, won't you? That isn't the duet. I doubt we're getting new songs in this game, so. It's the zombie game. <laughs> 
It's the zombie game. All right, let's light this place up. Oh, the, what's it gonna be? Oh, who am I kidding? I'll stick with get to the top. All right, here we go. Here we go. Still one of the best Toaster songs. If not the. Ah, uh, I don't know, it rings pretty good. Oh, and there's also like a butterfly. This is high up there. This one is high up there. To the top! No! Wow, I messed up every part of that. S still bullshit that Judgment games don't have karaoke. Because they can't actually license out the fucking uh, voice actor to do singing. Because the voice actor for, um, I forget the guy's name, from the Judgment games is like an actual famous singer. So for him to sing in the game, they have to license that part specifically. Which is weird. Hey, we broke 90. I mean, we do have actual good singers in the other games. Obviously Akiyama, obviously Kiryu and stuff like that. What? There's just a zombie on here. There's just a zombie on here. Really good at getting pumped up. Oh! Don't e Don't even- We don't even get the, um, the duet. I Maybe only certain hostesses have the duet. Not just, um, any Japanese pop star, basically the Japanese equivalent of Justin Timberlake. <laughs> it's impressive that- It's impressive that Sega managed to get him for a voice acting gig in a video game then. If he's that huge, getting him for a voice acting is pretty big. I mean, that was a that was also part of the reason why the games um didn't get ported to PC for ages, right? Or is that the or is the the idea of the Judgment games not being ported to PC because mods because of who the main character is? Is was that a rumor or was it confirmed that was the reason and now it's just not as much of an issue? That was awesome. Felt good. good. So felt so good. Let loose. Got a great voice. Thanks for today. We'll have to go singing again soon. Like, even if Zentos was part of a boy band when he was young, was the obvious standout in the fame because he well past the rest of his old crew fading into obs obscurity. Oh, wow, okay. Also, it shows our age. It shows our age specifically that we say, oh, yeah, the Justin Timberlake, and not, oh, the Harry Styles. <laughs> it shows our age. <laughs> Very well, sir. Would you like to request a specific hostess? Erica again! Hey! Thanks for before, Kima son. That was super fun. Thanks for before. I had a great time. I cleared up a mahjong. Good for you. Is score a Yakuman or anything? I'd tell my definitely know from my mahjong days. Not that big, but still. I found the unluckiest looking guy and dug my claws in. 
Tony Mora didn't know what hit him. Well, it's like a charm, just like you said. <laughs> Good to hear it. I look a fancy today. Should I give her a present? Nah. Nah, let's be let's be lamers. What should we order? We are ordering orange juice. I also feel like Yakuza 3 was way stricter with points. From memory in Yakuza 3, it also took... It, it was way more work to actually get the hearts. You had to basically extend every session and do basically every single question perfectly to actually get enough points to um, get the hostesses up to 20. We're in Yakuza 4, and as we can see in this, because we'll likely get to the next stage already just in what we're doing here. Don't fight. They're a lot more generous with the hearts here. I was about to say, have we finished super early? I keep thinking that with hostesses because the beginning goes fast and we never actually do it early, so never mind. Oh, uh, hey, I want to ask, what's hot in Kamurocho these days? I figure you're the guy to ask. What's hot, huh? Me! <laughs> Triple Seven Town and Creamy Desserts and Conven Con Collagen! Creamy Desserts and Convenience Stores. That's what... That's what it is. Have you tried those new creamy desserts yet? They make pancakes and donuts and stuff. I don't, I don't. Yeah, it's all fluffy, but kind of creamy. They're so good. Surprised you go um in for sweets yeah. though. Why? They're tasty. I'm gonna let uh, being a guy stop for experiencing good food. <laughs> you sound like a real gourmet. I seem to know which one you like the best. <sighs> uh, what's the matter? What's up wrong, Erica? You're seeing down. I was just this audition. I applied for a job modeling for this new fashion mag. I said back to my application cleared first round screening. Really? What's well, great? Why aren't you happy then? Mm. Got an interview and a week and my stomach's already tied up in knots. <laughs> I'm usually so gung-ho about things. I'm surprised to see you were so worried. Ugh, do you think a girl like me has any chance of getting through that interview? Oh, yeah. We'll just have to see, I guess. No, no. Come on, Akiyama-san. Give me a shot in the arm here. I need a confidence boost. It'll work out in the end. Uh, Don't be afraid of failure. That's what it is. I'm sorry. There we go. You can't win if you don't play the game right. Give it up now and get you anywhere. Yeah, you're right. A modeling is my dream. A bell I now, I'll regret it later. Right? Give it all you've got and see what happens. There'll be plenty of time to cry later if things don't work out. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I feel better. I'll give it my best oh. shot. Atta girl. Slap on the ass. Woo, I'm. Th no! Stop asking for the white champagne. You're not getting the white champagne. No. Okay, I'm signing up for a challenge. With high stakes, of course. What'd you have in mind? Take your pick. I'm on fire lately. We're in a pachinko, mahjong, the tracks. I can beat anybody at anything. <laughs> it's quite the boast. I was playing with some customers the other day and I got Yakuman twice. Twice, you believe that? You just said, you just said you didn't. You're lying. Can't believe this hostess would contort the truth for sales or conversational reasons. Can't believe this. Does sound like your luck is up. Maybe I should go pro. What do you think of a professional model plus mahjong player? You'll be double popular. That's somehow the correct answer. You'll be double popular. There are a couple of knockouts playing the mahjong circuit already. Right? It's gonna be my calling. As soon as that takes more than good luck to hack it in the pro leagues. You gotta have skills too. Unless they do say a bird in the hands better two in the bush. Make sure you don't lose by. Yeah, you could be right. I'll get my modern career on track first. That's my real dream, after all. You can always just play for kicks. No, no. I'm gonna ever tell you you got nice fingers. I bet you're good with them. My fingers. It's not like I play an instrument or anything. Yeah. Even so, I'm just saying. I kind of got a thing for fingers. And yours are sexy. Um, thanks? Yeah. What are you into, Akiyama-san? Boob. The eyes. Eyes. Beautiful eyes. Stop moving your head. It's really hard to focus on the eyes. Beautiful eyes. It's got to be the eyes. Wide, smoky eyes are hard to beat. Oh, yeah? Fine, I just changed your eye makeup. can totally change the way your a face looks. You got taste, Akiyama san. I approve. Right there. When you're smiling, your eyes are adorable. <laughs> Ah, stop. You gotta make me blush. Oh, yeah, my son. Remember those guys who asked me on our date? I do. Why? Did something happen? They were hanging around outside today. Inside the club. Is it a coincidence or do you think they're stalking you? I don't know, but it creeped me out. So, what'd you do? I hid, so I don't think they saw me. 
But if they were there looking for me, it's kind of scary. Judgment Guy's talent company to, uh, doesn't want his likeness um, up online easily. Understandable. Understandable. But also, just because it's on PS5 doesn't mean people aren't going to mod it to have the cock hanging out everywhere. <laughs> also that. You can always call me. I'll come running in and shoot them with my gun. If anything happens, you can always call me. I'll come you running. Ready? You mean it? Oh, but I couldn't do that. You got your own things to be worrying about. You're more important to me than any of that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hana, sick in the quarantine. akiyama san where the fuck are you? Sorry, she wouldn't say that. It's Chief. Although I don't know how Chief translates to Japanese. Aw, thanks, akiyama san I feel better knowing you got, I got you in my corner. <laughs> good. This might be a good point. I'm gonna leave it here. We're not gonna learn much about this girl's interesting backstory about all the other- oh god, this hair stuck to me somewhere. There it is. There it is. Get out of here. We're not gonna learn about these girls, like, backstory in terms of all the extra questions that give you all the other details about what they're like. We're not gonna get those in this. It's designed so- yeah, probably yeah. It's designed so, if you get the right answers, you just crush it and just get through it very, very quickly. Which helps me. That helps me. That helps me not have to spend a million years on this. So if this gets done early, what do we do to kill the rest of the time for today? Can't be anything important, because people say this is a host episode and they're not watch it. Also, fun fact said, um, that entity was run by sexual abuse and a pedophile. There was actually a big documentary about it yesterday. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ. A friend stood me up. He said, no, I have time on my hands. My other friends say they're busy. Sometimes it seems like work would be less hassle than taking time off. Um, I just realized I wrote you an email about nothing. Sorry about that. <laughs> Why don't you go to Don Quixote? Go on a date with me. How is Don Quixote the right option here? Did we finish all sub stories last stream? We did. We did. The things to do with Akiyama is if there's any of the um, special ops that the lady in the Alps has to give us, whose name I constantly forget, and then there's also the Subterranea that we haven't actually explored. The idea was that the next stream was going to be Subterranea ops and then finishing Akiyama. Um... Zombie missions, part training, general training, Maja, no, no Maja. No Maja. No Maja. We could go into the zombie area to try and grind out items for upgrades. <laughs> could do that. Hey there, it's Erica. Hey Erica, what's up? Can you come to the club today? I thought maybe you just got me there. Sure, I'm game. Remember where we met up before? I'll wait for you there. And from Millennium Tower, right? Yup, see you there. Don't be late. I mean, like, what, uh, you taught Deku a terrible lesson when you play Metro Prime Pinball. You taught him anything bugs even so long enough times to convince you to do it. I have, I do have to continue doing that. I just keep not having time because this is more important. And also, I haven't set up my controller for it, so I can actually do, do that. I'll do Mahjong one day! It's just, Mahjong isn't going to be a, oh, we're at the end of a stream, fuck it, let's see what Mahjong's about. Mahjong is complicated and confusing and scary. If we do Mahjong, it's going to be an entire bonus stream dedicated to Mahjong at some point. That will happen at some point. Just, you know when I'm not already falling behind on everything because I'm running out of time, um, because I'm not streaming as frequently as I'd like to be. Oh, you came early. I did, too. On the same wavelength, I guess. Oh, one sec. Got a call. Yes, hello? Yeah, seriously? Yes, yes, sir. Understood, sir. Thank you so much. Who was that? The folks from my edition. I made it to the final cut. I'm so stoked. Oh yeah, that's great. All right, we're celebrating tonight. Let's go all out, Akiyama san. So where you taking me? Let's go eating. Which place here? Yakiniku, sushi, and watami. Where here does Kansai based food? Actually, I can just look at this and see if there's anything that it says about where you like to eat. Phone loud. 
farting loud. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I don't see anything on here about where she liked to eat. Does anyone know off the top of their head if any of these places do, um, Kansai-based food? Does anyone recognize anything here about Kansai-based food? Because I do not. Japan's J-pop predator exposed for abuse but still revered. Johnny Kitagawa. That's concerning. That's concerning. Is Yaki Niku... Yaki Niku is... Was, was Yaki Niku what they were mentioning before? No, that was the other thing. What does Watami do? Watami... You know, no, Watami is... No, we go to Watami because everyone loves Watami. We did that in Yakuza 4. Watami, that place rocks. I go there all the time. Can't wait. What do I, I should order? Everyone loves Watami because it's product placement. <laughs> So everyone likes it. It's the same with the fucking curry from the last game. Oh, the atmosphere at was on. It's so relaxing. Yeah, let's go in. And then we don't order everything on the menu. Because that makes the girls sick. <laughs> it makes the girls sick if you order everything on the menu. As we've also learned. Hello there. This way, please. Yeah. Hello, would you like to start with a drink? I guess I should do the ordering. All right, honey sour, uh, plum sour, shochu oolong, umeshi on the rocks, grapefruit apple vinegar sour, kaku highball, Moscow mule, jet oh, gross, tropical sunrise, oolong tea, Moscow mule, that's the good shit. That's the good shit. All right. Soybean, fried chicken, uh, cheese and Japanese omelette, broiled Tokaida mackerel, pot of um, skillet pot stickers, sashimi, tomato, baked pizza, shark's fin, um, <laughs> shrimp and avocado spring rolls, fondant au chocolate with vanilla ice cream. I have no idea if any of these are Kanro based. But based on the fact that she likes the seafood stuff, I just gotta order like. If I order the mackerel, I'm sure she'd, I'm sure she'd enjoy the mackerel. Or, actually, let's get the platter. Let's get the platter of sashimi. Because she likes the raven, so she probably likes fish. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, am I meant to order two things because we're having, like, one each? I forget how it works. I forget how it works. Is she going to complain about not having enough food here? I just remember we ate everything um, before. It was just like, oh, I ate too much. I feel sick. Then you lose hearts. And then it takes longer. <laughs> Not as long as the PS3 loading Kama, screen Kama. times, though. What's the Kama? Okay, yes. You order two things. Because, you, yeah, you order two things, and then, yeah. We split a single uh, a single course between the two people, so. Fair. That's what that is. That's what that is. And the final heart. Thanks for seeing me to work. Oh, listen, I was in bought the other day, so I went to Don Quixote, right? The place is awesome for past the time. That's right, I've been shoving hours late for work. <laughs> right, you can kill hours in there. I drop by when I'm in the mood to procrastinate. Don Quixote. Just look at all the random bullshit they have. And it's fantastic there. Am I going to have enough money for the second hostess? Again, I can always sell off plates if I need to. I can sell off plates if I need to. Wait, no, a lot of my money that I spent today did come from buying the bracelet. Never mind. I was about to say I started at about like 140k today, and we've already lost about half of that. It was, I think, about 30k for the bracelet. So that would be the other part. So it's fine. So it's fine. And then we can skip this. Pog. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to ask, what's hot in Kamarocho these days? Mm. I already told you about the- nothing. Nothing's hot. Z zombies. Zombies are hot. Zombies are all the rage. No! No wide chance. I don't even think I could afford it at this point. Actually, no, it's 40k, so I couldn't afford that. What's with the pensive look? What are auditions coming up? And? You worried? 
It's a fashion test. Like, we've got to coordinate an outfit to show off we've got taste, not just looks and a nice body. Wow, they test for that sort of thing, too. They said to show off in my cutest outfit, but I don't really know what to pick. So you're mulling uh, it over now. Gotcha. What kind of look do you think I should go with? I want to hear your opinion. Um, anything that shows some skin. You gotta make that call yourself. Something laid back and easy. Because you gotta show that you're easy. Something laid back and easy might work. Your personality's loud enough. Hey! But it's really, I don't want to go with something too over the top. You make a strong impression. In a good way, I mean. Don't overpower that with your clothes. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Thanks for the tip. No problem. And good luck. What happened with those guys who were hitting on you? Are they still handing you? Now nah, they got resolved. Thanks for asking, though. Resolved how? They came in here as customers. What? What happened then? I was creeped out at first, but then we got talking. Turns out they're from Osaka, too. We actually had a lot in common. Oh, really? Even made a Mahjong date. And you're not worried at all? Can't judge a book where it's covered out, Kiyama san. They're decent guys, I swear. Or are you just jealous? <laughs> you should stay away from them. But I'm serious here. <laughs> Serious here. They went to the trouble of coming in and asking for you by name. They're in pretty deep. That's borderline stalking. Mm, you could be right there. You gotta let your guard down around guys um, you don't know. If you put across the wrong signals, they'll start making assumptions. I wasn't that flirty. It was all just hostesses and customers. Mm. Make sure they know that too, is all I'm saying. Draw a clear line. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks for your advice, Akiyama san. No, no. So Akiyama can say this because, you know, he runs a hostess club. Like, he, he does understand it a bit more than just, like, regular customers. Not that, you know, Erica knows that. So what do you get to, me to celebrate if I pa pass the final round of auditions? Oh, what? I hadn't really thought about it. You better start. You gotta figure it out ahead of time if you want to re be ready to surprise me later. Hm, I'll give that in mind. What would you want? Come on, that's your job. Consider it a test. Surprise me. A spa trip. I've got the perfect idea, but I can't tell you because it's going to be a surprise. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah. Oh, the perfect idea. You'll never see it coming. Yeah, what is it? Wouldn't be surprised if I told you, would it? Pass your audition and find out. You're bluffing. You're welcome to think that. Won't ever show until you passed, will you? Oh, you're such a tease. And now I really got to pass, don't I? All right, just you wait and see. <laughs> this might be a good time to leave. No, we've got to stay longer because we need to fill out the hearts now. No, we're gonna have normal questions. No! We're gonna have normal questions. Do I even need to? That's 2,000, might as well. Just to ensure it is done. Just to ensure it is done. The next question's gonna give quarter of a heart. It's possible. It's within the realm of possibility. All right, well, now it's done. Okay, I probably didn't need that. It's 2,000, doesn't matter. Yeah, I always do this and just go, oh yeah, okay, parts of this do go quickly. It'll be fine. It, this won't take an hour and a half per hostess like it usually does. And now I'm looking at the time. No, it will take an hour and a half like it usually does for hostesses. Never fucking mind. <laughs> hey, Akiyama san, I, I want to introduce you to the man I'm living with. Huh? Wait, what? I don't know if I've been feeling so lonely, you know? Yeah, I mean, sure, but I see why you need to introduce me. No, I need you to know that this is my man. Ta-da! This is Sugar, my toy poodle. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. You got all scared when I was saying the guy, didn't you? <laughs> He's a real charmer, too. Hey! <laughs> He's a real charmer, too. He could be a show dog. Sounds like you know a lot about the breed. Are you a big dog person? Not really, but a friend of mine is one. Toy poodles are pretty cute. <laughs> I'll have to introduce you in person someday. Can't wait. We're doing your days off, Erica. Stay in usually, reading comics, playing video games, that sort of thing. Anime. I'm more of a couch potato than I look. I've been going out, huh? I don't mind if it's not like I got a guy to go out with or I'm on dates with. Then why don't you find one? I ain't like fix some breakfast, man. My apologies to sit back and let love find me. Call me anytime you're lonely. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope you find a real print. Although I bet you get a lot of offers, huh? Mm. Yeah, a few. Speaking of manga, I gotta start reading fucking um, Jajolion. Now that Jajolion's finished, I can actually read it in base. I also need to finish watching Stone Ocean. I also need to finish watching Stone Ocean. I finished like the first part of Stone Ocean now. 
Like when but when they first took the breaks, it's divided into three. I finished watching the first part of Stone Ocean. Stone Ocean is really good. Stone Ocean is really good. It's not my favorite JoJo part, but but Jolene is my favorite JoJo, and fuck, she's done so well in the anime. Holy shit! Holy shit! Girl as cute as you. One of you, I bet. Guys must be flocking to you. Hehe. <laughs> and are you one of the Makiyama-san? Hmm. Who couldn't say? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Come on, don't tease me now. <laughs> Can I ask you advice on something, Akiyama Sure, what's up? Folks always telling me I'm not sexy. Early today, a customer told me I was cute, but I had no sex appeal. That's what you're worried about. You sound like it shouldn't matter, old girl. I'm serious here. What do you think I should do to crank up the sexy? <laughs> different makeup would be the, the, the simple solution. Yeah, different makeup. Get a boob job! As, as if every hostess in this game doesn't have the same size boobs because they use the same model or anything. Try some different makeup, maybe? A little smoke around the eyes can really change your look. You already said that she had smoky eyes before. Oh, nice practical advice. Mm. Nice about makeup, though. I haven't considered still long enough to do anything too, Major. One of those opportunities to study up, then. It's important knowledge for a model, right? <laughs> That's true. All right, I'll give it a go. Just wait, I'll become a sexy makeup pro and have you eating out of my hand in no time. Can't wait. It's going to be that time. Yeah, we get the SSR card. I would do makeup more frequently, as in literally ever. Is is the issue is is where I live and who I am as a person. Oh god, that costs so much. And it, like who I am physically, not weight or anything. Just like my how my body always has been, regardless of my weight or anything. I love ya, you too. Oh my god, it's required. Um, and just also where I live. I'm in a constant, like, no matter what temperature it is or humidity, I'm always in a very light level state of sweaty at a bare minimum. As you can see in the camera with how shiny and reflective my skin is. I'm also just very oily skinned. The, the primary reason I don't bother with makeup on a day-to-day -day basis is because I will sweat it off and it will be ruined. <laughs> That's the reason I don't bother. And if I do bother, I usually don't bother with the whole foundation and everything. I just do lipstick and eyes. And and just doing lipstick and eyes without the rest of it can look a little silly, um, because of what the rest of my face just like the um, the redness of it, just because like I naturally have fairly blemishy skin. I had a date with Destiny today. I was a really cute dress out shopping. It was a bit too expensive to me. I think I could take them down, but I tried them. I tried anyone. Anyway they gave me half off. I guess my bargaining it is in my console blood. What kind of dress? Show it to me next time. So I'm like, good skill, teach me. That's what we're going for. That ought to do it. All right, now we do the Akiyama spin. Whee! Until we get the, um, way. Look out, the tornado's coming through. Whoa! There we go. Here we go against distance, not time. Akiyama son, I, I'm sorry. What, what, what's wrong? You warned me, but I, I can't, I, Wait, slow down. Start from the beginning. Hey, pal. Yakiyama, then. Uh, who the hell are you? What have you done to Erica? Well, they don't get excited now. Okay, here it said she was a real Mahjong pro, so the boys and I invited her to play. Thanks, we know she's down a million points. As you guys say, she can't cover her losses. A million? What kind of scam are you running? How does a person get in for a million points? Oh, that hurts, buddy. We just like things a bit more exciting. Bumped up the rate a bit. But Erica was all for it. So she's on a roll 50 kick all our asses. All right, I get the picture now. I'll cover up. Where are you now? Oh, business, ain't ya? I like that. We'll be waiting at the Orchid Palace. Where's the Orchid Palace? Mahjong hostesses. Is Orchid Palace just the place that's right here? Or down here, I should say? I don't actually... Is that what they call the Mahjong here? Orchid Palaces. So it is this. Okay. I'll cover the losses. Akiyama's rich! What's a million yen to Akiyama? I don't even know if the, con the conversion rate is the same. You there! I'm begging you. Will you take this, please? Lucky Mahjong marker. What is it? They told me I'd win a Mahjong if I used it, but I, I never thought. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? It's not dangerous, is it? That kind of lucky and right. It's not humanly possible. So I started getting scared. I'm about to get an exorcism right now. Seriously? What, did you land at nine gates or something? Ha! That's not the half of it. Look, I want nothing to do with that thing. If you want to win, use it. It's your problem now. One million yen versus Lone Mahjong. 
Hey, there's a minute! That was pretty potent. I don't give a try if I'm worried about losing. So we just use that thing if we're worried about losing. Okay. Understood! Understood. You will have to play Mahjong for, uh, for this bit, which is why they give you a cheat item. <laughs> you can't make me! They tried to make me. They tried to make me in the last game, and I didn't. Remember when they tried to make me play Mahjong with um, Tiny Mora? But yeah, they tried. They tried. Akiyama-san, I'm so sorry. I had everything. Why didn't you take on a crazy bet like that? I I thought I could win, but they cheated. They had to be cheating. Now, just the second hot stuff. This is going to win lots more than you got. I make us cheaters. You can't even cover a debt, buddy. Let's get down to business. I thought exactly. Have a seat. Let's get the first round started. Huh? Hell are you talking about? I'm going to play an Erica set and make back her losses. You have a problem with that? Just get them runs. Hell yeah, I got a problem. What kind of idiot's going to go for that? And how about we sweeten the pot? Forget about rates. Winner takes double Erica's bet. D double? Wait, two million points? You're serious? Deadly. Ha! <laughs> it's your funeral, pal. Let's get to it. Don't got to think about running off now. Alright, well, might as well go for it, right? I don't have enough points to play. I need at least 25,000. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I need... Okay, I don't even have the points. So, okay. Let's get 25,000 points. Some martial points are a, or a Phoenix match. The Akagi poster. Oh, is Akagi a thing? <laughs> I'd like to buy some Mahjong sticks, please. 25,000. Oh, God. This is going to cost so much money. No, we get, some, we get it back if we win. Well... I guess she gets the million. I, I don't know if I'll get the million. Okay. Okay. Um, did the, does the guide have any hints on this? Does the guide have any hints on this? There's a lot of things here. Alright. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So it's very when you are uh, Akiyama. Uh, we'll debate on using the lucky martial marker. Would you just like to use it? Uh, since you can't use it outside of this. I'm sorry. Um, go that. Once the match starts, select sumo. I'm cheating. And you'll win instantly with a heavenly hand and pure 13 orphans. There we go. There we go. There we go. The hand is used to cheat item. Well, I also have to do something after I do that. There is also more than just using the the, the, the cheat item. If I, if, if I can't win, it's better just back out now. Maybe I should give that lucky marshal marker I got out for, um, uh, I got out front to try. Use it. Now I'm gonna ask him for a little divine boost. Lucky Mahjong marker glowed eerily. Or maybe it's just the lighting. <laughs> Ready when you are. You cannot, man. I will avoid Mahjong if my life depends on it until we play it. All right. Basic, basic Mahjong knowledge. At least it says here that it's basic knowledge as opposed to he is out of play. All right. Here's a bunch of things that I definitely know what they mean. That's a PS3 controller fire. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Alright. Uh, su <laughs> Sumo or Richie? Sumo! Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> you just win on the first hand! You just win on the first hand, literally instantly. <laughs> Triple Yakuman! Triple Yakuman! Yeah, let's go! I'm so good at Mahjong, everyone. I'm so good at Mahjong. I'm so fucking good at Mahjong. Look how good I am at Mahjong. I'm godlike at this game. I'm so fucking good at Mahjong. Oh my god, you don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Th this ain't possible! Yeah, you're cheating, admit it! On an automatic table? I was just lucky. I could do better. But that ain't... I reckon it's pretty good itself. I assume you three reads the game? <laughs> I won't take your money. In return, none of you are ever going to mess with Erica again. Understood. Fine. Bye. Okay, I'm a son. That should settle things. There we go. There we go. 
That's the play. Just always challenge people at double or nothing. And then it wins. And then you win. Double or nothing never goes ba badly. Never, ever, ever. Never once. Never once has double or nothing gone poorly for anyone in their lives. I'm so sorry, Akiyama-san. I sweat it. Even my skill players are gonna have their unlucky days. That's Marjol. Just try to pick your battles, yeah? But you just... Me? Eh, if I had lost that last round, I'd have shut up and paid. What? That many points? How could you... Oh, I'd have been fine. I'm doing alright for myself in that department. I I yeah? I never knew. Double or nothing. And also have divine intervention. You just gotta believe in the heart of the Mahjong tiles. And I think on it. There's a lot I don't know about you. But I knew I could call you. That you'd come to my rescue. Erica. I want to learn more about you, Akiyama-san. What do you uh, want you to know more about me, too? Like how you're an avid gambler? Well, yeah, but no. So much more, too, I mean. Then I guess you better start talking. Anything you want to tell me, I'm eager to hear. That's the spirit. Gotta learn all about you. And we've got a fuck in the middle of a baseball center. Yeah! Fucking in front of the baseball center! Or in, like, right in the middle of it! You have to be careful with the position. You have to be careful of the position when you're fucking there. Because, like, if someone's riding on top and they're, like, sitting up, the ball could hit them. They don't stop playing while they do it. You just gotta be low to the ground and the balls go over your head. It adds an element of excitement and danger to it. No way! You were seriously a banker? You're not the only one making surprising discoveries tonight. Aw, oh, go on. You're gonna make me blush. What happens when the uh, baseball's in a good zombie? Then we fuck with the zombies surrounding us. That's what we do. Well, I wanted to ask. Fancy game on Mahjong sometime soon? What? So I haven't learned your lesson, huh? I was just watching before. I went in on the action. I'm game. The loser has to kiss the winner. Wait. Doesn't that mean you win either way? Busted, huh? <laughs> you really are one fast talker. I like that about you, though. Like a lot about you, actually. You're the best, akiyama son. Didn't have sex, just talked about their pasts. Still did it in the baseball arena. Still did it in the baseball arena. See, this is why I have to do it. They're listed separately, but the game still calls hostesses sub-stories. They still call it sub-stories. <laughs> um, hostess sub-story cleared. When you get an email from her, you'll be able to enjoy co-op battles with her as your part. You can just have them join you with the zombies? So it's okay and come here. I'm trying to see if he has anything that might help the hostess combat the zombie horde. Now find Teddy more and get our money before the last march on luck runs out. And 10,000 experience points. Is that a level up? That, surely that's a level up, right? It apparently is not. It is apparently is not. Oh, no, 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 no. We only get two a level. No. That, we, we, we must have just leveled up, right? Because it says next level is like 6,700. Hey, now that we're fucked, you ever seen a zombie before? <laughs> Trust me, I'm not the only thing in this city that's good at eating. Oh, yeah, son, it's kind of fucked up. What? Sorry, what? <laughs> Should I do the focus recovery for more heat snipes? No, because I don't use heat snipes enough. I gotta remember to do that. Okay, so let's go to Kamiyama truck then. Can we do anything extra if we take them in to fight the zombies and they level up? <laughs> How many people can we get to kill zombies? And Erika. Akiyama-san, it's Erika. I just want to say, you rock. You really put my mind at ease. So much for me being the calming hostess, huh? Now it's my turn to pay you back big time. Come see me soon, I'll take away all your troubles. Be seeing ya. Hey, And the selfie. And the selfie. So if we go to the truck. If we go to the truck. Sup? Yeah, how's it going? I just watch it. Okay, we've got a lot of goodies there. And then we can change the hostess outfits. 
Okay. So there's DLC for hostess outfits. Okay. It's a handgun. Hey, it's a handgun she already owns. Not a thrill, but still a killer. She just already owns this. And then there's the street clothes. Okay. So that there's DLC for this. Can we access any of the DLC for this? And what's the goodies? I got nothing to give. That's just more DLC. There's just a lot of DLC stuff in this game that exists that we just don't have access to. Because you can't access the shop on the PS3, I think, but you can still, like, buy it online. Like, if I was to, actually, I was about to say, if I was to look it up, but can I look it up on the website without it being spoilers everywhere? Let's go to the PlayStation Store shop. If I just search Yakuza Dead Souls, does anything come up? Yakuza Dead Souls. No. No. Very much no. Nothing comes up. <laughs> Nothing comes up. This may be DLC that is no longer accessible in this game. The state of the PS3 store is still confusing. I don't know how much it does or doesn't work. Which is slightly concerning, because I need to get Metal Gear Solid 1 soon. <laughs> and I need that on PS3. So it's a little concerning. Actually, uh, gotta miss the best DLC. No. Let me actually look that up now. Metal Gear Solid. Can I still get that? Metal Gear Solid. I'm seeing a lot of Metal Gear Solid 5 stuff. How do you access the... I don't... There's still a way to, like, download stuff from the store, but I don't remember how it works. So I still remember saying that thing you can't do is add funds from the PS3 so directly. Oh, that's it. That's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't add funds on there. You gotta add the funds somewhere else. Hey, need a number. Welcome, by the way. So we can do the DLC for this game. Both the DLC for this game is uh, free, though. Oh, okay. Okay. This actually isn't connected to the internet, this PS3 at the moment. I don't think so. Um, I think I unplugged this to plug in one of my other consoles to the internet. So I don't... Oh, it says sign into the to the network thing whenever I do that. So I don't know if I'm actually connected. That might be something I have to check out in between streams. Also, post-game only. Oh, well, then never... Well, what about the hostess stuff? Where am I going, by the way? Oh, right! The other hostess club's here. <laughs> I was about to go back down to shine. No, the other hostess club is here. We're gonna dress up the hostesses in bikinis so we can go and fight the zombies. That's what we have to do. It's important. <laughs> it's important. Ugh. So yeah, other than other than spec ops and um the subterranean. Is there anything that's like content that we should do with Akiyama while we're here. I mean, like, there's obviously the stuff for the partners, but nothing else I can think of, yeah. Because there's the stuff, like, we level up the partners and get them more skills, but if we're not going to use them for other characters, then it doesn't really matter. And we've done the sub-stories for them, so. Would you like to enter our establishment? I do. Only some of the DLCs post-game, you still get, um, items and change houses, outfits, and weapons during the main game. DLC is weird. <laughs> and all the others, it's just automatically on there because I've just done that beforehand. Though, when I looked up Yakuza Dead Souls just there, it looks like starting with Like a Dragon, the actual DLC um, that Japan gets for these games is just purchasable in the West, where up until um, Like a Dragon, it's just included. Probably because we get the game so much later. But Like a Dragon came out at a... Was dra was Like a Dragon, um... Which is now just a confusing name for it. It's now confusing that one of the games is called Yakuza Like a Dragon. It is now confusing... It's in Now in hindsight, it is really confusing that one of the games is called Yakuza Like a Dragon. Because the franchise is now just called Like a Dragon in the West. <laughs> so it's slightly confusing now. But Yakuza Like a Dragon... Was that day and day for the West and there? 
I think Lost Judgment may have been. And Ishin was, that just came out. But was Like a Dragon the first game that was day and day? Because it might that would make sense if that was like now the game that uh, came out a year after Japan. Oh, okay. So it still took until the other ones. Because the DLC was available separately there. Well, up until then, you just get it for free in the West. Makiyama, nice to meet you here. I know who you are. You haven't been a jewel for a while, have you? You used to come a lot, didn't you? About a year ago? Yeah, well, I was kind of combining business and pleasure in a sense. The shore is a high level club. Really? Is that just a line you used to butter us girls up? Heh, <laughs> oh, you're good. Miyabi. Hello. Fancy Tiara. What to talk when it comes to women, Akiyama san? Mm. Bro, is this a good conversationalist, I guess? And we'll make someone a good conversationalist specifically. Oh. Someone who looks you in the eye and really listens. Someone who knows how to respond and make the conversation flow smoothly. Oh. Hmm. Can't just about anyone do that. That's just the thing. A lot of girls can't. Many of them keep changing the subject around the conversation before I've made my main point. It might seem like they're keeping um, the talk lively, but it just leaves me feeling dissatisfied. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. People often tell me I don't listen. Hmm. I don't know how well I do either. <laughs> oh, someone's requested me. I gotta run away because you said something bad about me. Let's try my first game of simultaneous. There it is. There it is. I know. I knew Ishin did. I knew Ishin did. But yeah, let's try one first. Okay. You don't know how to, uh, well, um, you're wearing a hostess club, don't you, Akiyama san? Yeah, well, tell the truth, I have a hostess club of my own. You do? What's it called? Elise. Have you heard of it? I have. That's one on Taihei Boulevard, isn't it? That's the one. I went there for an interview once, but I didn't get hired. I thought I did pretty well too, so I was really disappointed. Oh, you didn't hire me, you prick. Hmm. Must have been back when we didn't have as many customers. We weren't hiring as much then. It's nothing for you to feel bad about. Really? <laughs> I have to admit, it does make me feel a little bit better. Why well, would you decide to work at a hostess club? Well, I need the money, of course, but more importantly, I want the chance to get used to talking to men. Do men make you nervous? I have to admit that they do. I go to a woman's college, so I don't have much experience interacting with them. Well, good for you. It's nice to have a good motive for choosing this job. I bet you'll go far. You think so? Thank you. You give me hope. <laughs> good luck. And you know the person who we're actually here for. Hello! Never mind, this girl might have bigger boobs than the others. Or it's just the design of the outfit. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. I'm Yuna. I'm Shinakiyama. Man, you sure look good in a Chinese dress. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually Chinese. <laughs> you are? Your Japanese is very good. What do you think the series changed into turn-based combat? Well, partially, right? Partially changed into turn-based combat. Because Judgment is still, um, punchy punchy punch pow! And, well, Ishin is there. I mean, like, there are so many games in Yakuza that are punchy punchy punch pow combat. I'm fine with changing up the formula. I've been enjoying this game because it's a fucking shooter. And people talk about how shit this game is as, as a shooter. I'm scared for me personally playing it because I'm not... Gr I'm probably better at combat, like, at real-time combat games than I am at turn-based games. So I'm scared I'll be terrible at Like a Dragon when I get to it. But I think it's a very smart choice to just, like... There's, like, ten games now that are the punchy punchy punch combat that changing up the formula so it doesn't get stale is probably important for the longevity of the franchise i get that a lot what do you think of chinese women akiyama san <laughs> uh i don't know how to answer that question without it being shitty in one way or another to someone anyway i should i gotta actually go to here this person making like a dragon a brawler and um three turn based. What the fuck? What the fuck? Does does like a dragon have enough there that you can just turn it into a brawler and it just works? Um Oh, oh right, this one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter. I was looking at the questions for which one does this actually have to do? Um There there sure are a lot of beautiful ones. <laughs> Beautiful ones. Tall and slender with fair skin. Yes, I've seen quite a few beautiful ones myself. Oh, you're one of them, of course. Really? You're a sweet talker, aren't you, Akiyama san? Really, I mean it. He's right. Even I can tell what a beauty you are, you know? Yeah, I think I like you, Akiyama san. How old do I look? Your age? Hmm. About 28? Unbelievable. 
I'm still only 24. Ah, oops. Sorry, you seem mature and level-headed, that's all. I thought you were old too. You're only two years older than me. <laughs> Why are you so much more put together? But people often tell me there's a huge gap between the way I look um, I, I look and the way I act. A gap, huh? I'll go for example. I'm not telling. I wouldn't want you to be disappointed. <laughs> I won't be disappointed, I promise. Yeah. I'm actually more interested in the real you. The real me, huh? Actually, I'm not about really a very self-aware person. I just don't want my friends to tell me. Oh, I get it. So if I hang around you long enough, I'll get to know the real you too, right? Make it sound like I've got some deep, dark secrets. Well, I don't think I do anyway. <laughs> now I'm even more curious. And and now, and now the night is over. I'm gonna need more money. I'm gonna need more money. Okay, I'm gonna get instant max out. He really should. He absolutely should. It should be Akiyama walks in and it's just like, Hello there, sir. I'm going to go down on you immediately in the floor in front of everyone. And then the bosses see what's happening and they're just like, You know, that's fair. That's fair. That should be how it goes. That is the appropriate response. But apparently not. Apparently not everyone wants to suck off someone just because they look good immediately. Cowards. Cowardice! Cowardice shit right there. I have 24. I'm gonna need to go get money now. A pleasure meeting you! With crosses. This is Yuna. Thanks for coming to our place. Is that a gentleman? I had a great time. Do you like Chinese girls? I love to talk um, uh, more, so I hope you stop by again sometime. So, uh, what is my plate situation as it stands at this point? It's, I won't have them here. Okay. We're gonna go down here. We're going to check um, Cafe Alps. Because I'm going to need money. I'm gonna need money soon. 24 probably won't even go for the next two visits. Uh, so. Because it gets more expensive after the first visit. Because oh you gotta request people. So it costs more than just your first one. But it just doesn't matter. So we're gonna go down here. I believe we can get plates from this. We can turn this into money. Hopefully. Will... Will Abisu Porn buy shotgun ammo? If it's the only thing I can do. Will they buy shotgun ammo off me? Is that a thing they'll do? Hasegawa, one day I'll remember your name. I want rewards. I want reward. We can get gold plates. I would also um, check if you get all those Mahjong points if you want to trade them back in. I might need them for when we play Mahjong. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to get one... One gold plate's 100k from memory, right? I'm not trading all my points because they're... Because we, we want to save the points for the other characters. Assuming the points carry over to them. If level ups carry over to other characters, I'm going to assume a lot more stuff in this game carries over between characters. If level ups do, I would hope points do as well. Actually, we haven't even... Actually, one, Mahjong is right next to the pawn shop. So we can check there. And two, have we checked the Mahjong parlor for even what rewards they have? Or if it's just plates? They might have some items for modding. That might be important. We still need those polymers. I'm wondering if I should farm zombies in between streams to try and get some polymers so I can upgrade Akiyama's handguns. <laughs> We're not going to be playing as in much longer and they're guns that are unique to him with the way the game's describing it. So I feel like I should grind in between streams so I can upgrade Akiyama's signature guns. Alright, cash in for prizes. No, I did not keep them. There's an iron plate here. Which I think is new. Bullseye tile. So still some way to be able to run around for the income archer without anyone coming to attack you. <laughs> I know, it does make life a lot easier in that regard. Bullseye tile. This is something we need for one of the things to make, actually. I believe that's the lock-on thing. Let's have a look at this. I'm pretty sure that's what actually that is. 
Uh, blood. No, not that one. Eye contact. Hitman's ring. Yeah, zero in len lenses. Tonic shampoo, which we can buy, and bullseye tile. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit. Buy mahjong sticks. Give me 10,000. And then I say to buy more mahjong sticks. Give me another 10,000 mahjong sticks. And then trade in this for a bullseye tile. So, a good luck charm, um, a, a souvenir or a good luck charm. There we go. There we go. And I think Tonic Shampoo was actually at the, um, Boppo that's right beneath us. Or uh, Don Quixote. One of the two. I need to stop by the pawn shop first, though, because I don't have the money for that. I'm gonna sell the gold plate. Mahjong came in handy! For one very specific reason that hadn't anything to do with playing Mahjong. The thing is, do you want me to learn how to play Mahjong and Shoji and all of those things? Do you want every Yakuza playthrough to be me trying to, like, perfect every minigame on the map as well? Or were you already getting sick and tired of how long I spent on Boxelius? <laughs> Stick shampoo in your guns, it'll be fun. No, it's shampoo and no, this is in the eye contacts. You're shoving the shampoo in the eye contacts and then... You can't see anything because you've got shampoo stuck to your eyes with the eye contacts. But you have the bullseye tile, and because you're holding that, you're lucky enough that all your shots become headshots. That's how I think it works. Um, that's not selling. That's not selling. We also need to check for... um. Yeah, 100k. Perfect. Okay, so, okay. Money shouldn't actually be that bad in this game, then. It's like, what, a thousand points? It was about a thousand points, I think, to actually get that. Shit, we could actually just put all of that money into... We could just put, like, 5k points into gold tiles, sell those, and we'd have enough money to upgrade Kamiyama's truck again to do more weapon modding. Money may not be that limited of a resource in this game. Actually, before, before we continue... Before we continue, can anyone confirm if points carry over between characters? I'm going to assume they do immediately, just based on the simple premise of, um, like, the directives and spec ops carry over between characters. So it would make sense if the points do as well. And I only learned, um, uh, uh, I'm not going to show you the one I said, if you don't want to, no, you need to bother. Shoji is chess, and I'm bad at that. I would like to learn Mahjong. I enjoy, I enjoy tabletop games like that. I enjoy that type of stuff. It's just very confusing with the way the game describes it, and makes my brain explode. Do I have, oh yeah, so I, I have the contacts. I don't have, um, yeah, I need one more of this. God damn it. Um, <laughs> no, I don't have the shampoo, though. Let's go buy some shampoo. We're getting completely distracted from the hostess at this point. This is how we waste time. This is how we still make this a three hour stream. <laughs> we get completely distracted by shit because of Mahjong. Do you sell shampoo? You just sell a shitload of instant stuff. No, you don't. God damn it. God damn it. It might be Don Quixote. Which, fortunately, is also right next door. So it's fine. So it's fine. Not a big issue. Yeah, because if the points don't carry over, then it might be wise to spend it all now and just spend it on uh, upgrading um, Kamiyama's truck, which I imagine that would carry over between characters. But I also imagine the points do carry over between characters, because I'm pretty sure the directives do. From what people mentioned before, they do. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. Either way, either way we'll learn once we finish playing as Akiyama. We'll learn once we finish playing as Akiyama how it works, and then we can adjust it from there. And then it'll be fine. There's not one character. I'm sure it's not going to be the end of worlds of trying to upgrade everything to perfect. We are aiming to do that in this game as well. Uh, da, 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 do you sell shampoo? Black Ace by Drama. Uh, tonic shampoo! There we go. Perfect. 
Can I change him into these outfits? Where are your lad phone? Where are your lad phone? My phone's just yelling at me about Twitch stuff. Um, if I buy these outfits, can I have the hostesses change into these ones? Or are these just gifts? I'm gonna guess they're just gifts. They're probably just, yeah, it's probably just the gifts. Unfair. Unfair. Because you can give her, give them gifts. It's the same with the Lamarck stuff. It's just gifts. <laughs> anyway, back to the hostess. Now that we've wasted enough time doing all this dumb bullshit, back to the hostess. I should have 100k, right? I don't think I bought anything else. Yeah, I've got plenty of money. Plenty of money. Plenty of money. Back to Jewel. Back to Jewel. Back to Yuna. We're coming for you, babe. No, I don't mean you, Hana. Sorry. <laughs> She'll be. Hana will be fine. Hana will be fine. Hana can fight off the zombies. She's a strong woman. She beat the crap out of a bunch of Yakuza thugs. She can do it. She can do it. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. They do wear gifted dresses in four, in four at least. <gasps> Audible gasp. Though, like, it might be a different mechanic because of how, um... Like, it's... They, like, um... She was wearing street clothes. So it might be a different mechanic because we're taking them out shooting zombies and stuff. So it might work differently. Again, as if I'm going to actually take her out to go shoot zombies. One, that's kind of weird, and two, the other car the other characters who had their sub-stories for, like, stories and stuff, that was actually revolving around killing zombies, um, already, like, high levels and stuff. There might be trophies or completion things that are based on getting certain partners up to certain levels. Hey, you know, she seems really shocked that we're here. <laughs> Thanks for questioning me. My name is Yuna. Looking forward to spending some time together. What would you like to- Oh, right, you don't get the fucking- You don't even get the, uh, the thing on the first visit. What are we actually getting for her? Yamazaki 12 year? Ugh, gross. Wait, that's actually not too bad. We can order Kyogetsu Green, and it's free. Um, and the food item she likes gives a full heart. Because she likes the fruit platter, and this gives a full heart. So this actually works out just fine. The last girl had half a heart for the two things. But she gets a full heart for the one thing. I don't have to spend 20k a visit on Yamazaki Torbio. <laughs> it's even- you only get half a heart for that, too. You don't even get that much. Kanpai. Kanpai. Smoking. Do you like Chinese food, Akiyama-san? Sure. I like it a lot. Well, let's come and eat my parents' restaurant sometime, then. They have a Chinese restaurant? Yes, that's why we came to Japan, so they could open one. Hmm, sounds like the real deal. Funny thing is, it wasn't like they were running a restaurant in China first. They just all of a sudden decided to open one in Japan. They brought me over here when I was 12. Wow, could you speak Japanese? Not a single word. I had no idea I'd be going to Japan. Must have been rough. You know, it wasn't actually, not at all. And I made friends right away. Kanpai. That's, <laughs> that's what they're doing later. That's what they're making, that's what they're making in the middle of the, um, the fucking uh, baseball um, thing later on. That's what they're doing there. What's the name of the batting center? A brain saying... It begins with a Y, but I can't remember the actual name of it. I was putting a lot of effort to learn. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. Must put a lot of effort to It's hard to make friends if you can't talk to people. <laughs> ha, you caught me. Actually, I want to make friends so bad I say Japanese day and night. And you did good. I don't think a lot of Japanese women your age can speak as properly as you do. You mean it? Makes me really happy. I'll give my efforts so I continue to impress you then. <laughs> I don't feel like drinking tonight. No. 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 Actually, I haven't told my parents I'm working at this desk. Giving it a cigarette, huh? Yes, and I live with them too. I just sell my work at night shift. Ha! <laughs> well, that much is true anyway. I was born under China's one child policy, so I don't have any brothers or sisters. Because of that, my parents have always been very protective of me ever since I was little. So if you told them you were doing this kind of work, you think they'd get mad? Is that it? Exactly. They found out, I'm sure they'd make me quit. 
Well, it's hard for me to keep things from them. Should I just tell them the truth? <laughs> what they don't know can't hurt them. No, none of my business, I'll stay out of it. Sorry. Reasonable response, Akiyama. I better stay out of it. No, really, I need an objective opinion. Tell me what you think. Mm. Me. Well, I guess you, you should keep it a secret then. <laughs> really? Why is that? Because if you tell your parents the truth, they'll make you quit, and then I won't get to see you anymore. <laughs> and I guess I better not tell them then. Uh, Give me a lot to think about. Thank you. <laughs> well, if you want my objective opinion, I'll be selfish. It was this customer who arrived a while ago. He looked like a very serious public servant, so. But it turned out he's an extreme anime fan. He talks about me for an over an hour straight about nothing but anime. Ooh, glad I wasn't there. Well, you don't like anime? Not that I don't like it, I'm just not crazy about it. You should really give it more of a chance! <laughs> Every single hostess is just going to be, Come on, Akiyama! Become an otaku! Do it! Do it! <laughs> really? How come? I love, love, love anime! The cast was fascinating to listen to. You an anime fan? That's kind of surprising. Yes, people tell me I don't look the type. I guess you don't like girls who like anime then? <laughs> don't all girls like anime nowadays? They all won't shut up about Steel Samurai. Every single one of them I talk to. Oh, why would you assume that? I was not. Have a little faith in yourself. Well, I guess just that society doesn't seem to have a high opinion on anime fans like me. Mm. Who cares? You can really say the same thing about hostesses. I'm not into that weep shit. Akiyama, you're literally Japanese. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> really? I thought girls working at clubs have become pretty accepted. In fact, it's considered kind of cool, even. Uh. Maybe you're right. In that case, you never know what the next cool thing will be. Anime fans included. You know, I bet you're right. I'll hold up my he head up high from now on. Thank you. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that time already? All right, first visit. No extension. So I'm looking at 100k. I can't be spending 20,000 on drinks. Especially for half a heart. Part of the table that like pushes directly into my stomach when I'm streaming because of the way that I'm sitting up. And I can tell it's gone bad because like it's ruined the matting. That <laughs> that is right there. It's like all the rubbery shit is now just peeling away and it gets stuck to my shirt. It's like, god damn it. Oh hey. Thanks for a wonderful time today. When I asked you to come and see me again, I never actually imagined you actually would. It was a very nice surprise. You seem tired, Akiyama-san. So if I could set to soothe your troubles, even just for a little while. Shooting zombies is exhausting. Thank you for a wonderful time. Try not to work too hard. That's what we're doing. That ought to do it. Back in we go. Can't believe we're actually going to be doing, like, four hostess streams in this zombie game. <laughs> It'll be fine. There's only seven, right? One of the characters only has one of them, right? So it'll be fine. Should I try our establishment? I would. See, they've kind of already spoiled that Kiryu is the last character, so I imagine Kiryu probably has one. Though I think Kiryu had the most in the last game. I think Kiryu had the most in the last game. Because I think Akiyama and Tanimura had three each, and then Kiryu had four. Oh my god! What is happening? My internet cut out again. I'm just gonna keep going. It'll come back eventually. It'll come back. Hope you enjoy yourself here. Thank you for your concern email. It's very nice of you. But you know, I feel better already just seeing your face. I'm glad. Just take it easy though, okay? Relax is always the best way to go. <laughs> I like that about you, Akiyama son. Akiyama, oh, you're dressed up today. You wore a single bracelet. <laughs> give her shotgun. We're gonna give one girl shotgun ammo just to see how it goes. Just to see how it goes. What would I like to order? I'm ordering. Actually, no, this time is the time that we order Yamazaki. This is the one time we order Yamazaki because we have five and a half hearts to get through. So, this is the time that we order Yamazaki 12 here. Just because we've got extra hearts to get through here in case we don't make it. This is the one time we can. We can splurge a little bit on this one. Though, doing just that alone, I... Loud friend. Just doing that alone, we may need to go and sell some more plates before we finish this. That single splurge may have put us into a, a, a bit of a trouble spot. 
Well, it'll be what? This visa plus three more. We've got 50k for that. So, as long as they're under like 17k each, it should be okay. It also doesn't help. Yeah, the fruit plant is also 5k each. That doesn't help. Because last time the two food items together were two. So laid back and easy to talk to. Not too serious. I don't see that very often, especially in the working world. <laughs> and I bet you were the serious type when you were in school. You're right. My friends were into fashion, but I always just wore my school uniform. I stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> but you got plenty of attention from the boys, too. No, I wasn't like that. Anyway, I don't really have very good memories of my high school years. Really? Why not? Well, I fell in love with a teacher. He was 10 years older than me. Everything I could to make you fall in love with me, too, but you know what the hell. Being a teacher, of course, he wouldn't give me the time of day. As he should, as was correct of him to do so. Surprising how ballsy you are when it comes to love. I guess I'm kind of reckless when I when I fall in love. My heart was all a flutter during his class. I'm sure I never even stopped to think. You know, what the hell? So you like older men? That is not the response. That is not the... Re Apparently it is the response. So you like older men, huh? That's good to know. It's true. All the men I fall in love with are older. It's always been like that, I guess. Yes, yeah, so you seem like the type who needs a mature, broad-minded man. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. Are you talking about yourself? Is it that obvious? <laughs> well, you're right. You are my type. I can't believe everyone's here. You, I am? You sure know how to make a guy happy. Oh, right. Nice job, unnamed teacher. Right, we disconnected from the internet. I have to refresh this again, don't I? God damn it. God damn it. So I have to refresh stream elements. I have a button that's meant to refresh stream elements, but ever since OBS updated, that button no longer works. So, shit, I have to, I have to do it manually by right-clicking on that and then refreshing the cache. So the time, uh, kind of guy, do you like? Uh, well, let's see. Looks not matter to me all that much. Damn it. Really? Women always say that, but then they always end up going for the good-looking guys in the end. <laughs> I, I mean it. My friend said my ex-boyfriend kind of looks like a goat. <laughs> Maybe you do mean it after all. If I had to choose, I'd say I like men who are with a good singing voice. Oh. Oh, Akiyama. Singing voice. That's right. Even I've never thought about the guy in, um, in that way before. He steals my heart a little if he's really good at karaoke. Oh shit, Akiyama, you're in. Might even fall in love on the spot if he's good at singing Annie songs. Annie songs. Anime songs. Are you talking about anime songs? Do I, st Do I start blurting out the Hunter Hunter intro? Sorry, the, the the Hunter Hunter intro is on the brain now that uh, Gone in 60 Seconds has gone where it has. <laughs> I'm assuming Annie Songs is anime songs. Huh? Annie Songs. Oh. Annie Songs show for anime songs! You know, anime theme songs and the like. Kimi no se, Kimi no se. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Even like your karaoke songs would be anime related, huh? Let's go singing together sometime. I want to hear you do an Annie song. What? I don't know any. I'll tell you which ones are really popular right now. Most of them have really easy lyrics, so you should have no problem figuring it out. Oh boy. <laughs> I wanna be the best! I don't know what's been going on with me lately. I'm going through a popular phase. I brag about it. Lots of guys uh, professing that undying love to you, huh? It's true. A lot of my Chinese language students have been approaching me recently. So they find it very hard to concentrate on studying when they're talking to such a fascinating, beautiful teacher one on one. <laughs> oh, please. It's like, what's so fascinating about me? Boobs! Lips. We're looking at the lips. I like how we get the controls every time we do this. Beautiful eyes. She can speak Chinese. Nice. So can these. She can speak Chinese. Your mouth is probably the first thing a man notices. And when fluent um, Chinese comes flying out, but your students are very impressed. So I only want to focus on my mouth. Chinese is much more complicated than Japanese, so it's important to watch sound formations. Okay, I get it. As a teacher, you want your students looking at your mouth. But if they stare at it, I get kind of self-conscious. <laughs> That's pretty cute. A little tired today. I'm hoping you can lift my spirits. I can lift these spirits into your mouth because of drinking! Because I ordered the 20,000... Yen thing for because I'm an idiot. It's I? How come? Merci. I teach private Chinese lessons at a coffee shop during the day. Ah, oh, Cafe Alps! Mm. <laughs> so your Chinese teacher, interesting. Just mentioned that. They're not expecting you to cheat and know all the answers to everything immediately, so it gets a little out of whack. I had three lessons today and I'm wiped out. 
Sounds like your lessons are in demand. I do think my students have mixed feelings about me. Really? Why? I speak Japanese pretty well, right? Well, my students want to be taught by a real Chinese person, but they seem to think I'm Japanese. What can I do to convince them I'm really Chinese? You can try speaking in broken Japanese. That's not... <laughs> Just behave as you would normally. They're bound to realize you're Chinese after a while. Slightly questionable. Slightly questionable what you mean by that. You think so? It's even completely different of Japanese at the moment. No matter how Chinese person studies, they'll never be Japanese and vice versa. There's bound to be little clues in the future. I don't think you mention it. I'm sure that sometimes I'm, um, I sometimes don't know certain things Japanese people my age all seem to know. See? There you go. You students will start to see little things like that pop up the longer you're around each other. I guess you're right. I won't worry about it so much then. I'll just focus on being the best teacher I can be. I didn't need to buy the Yamazaki after all. We're maxed out on the hearts. I'm running away. I'm running a Oh god, 39k. Oh, I thought I had way less money. Oh, I thought I had way less money. Never mind, I still got like 40k. That'd be enough for two more visits. Never mind, we'll be fine for the money for this. Might still be worth getting money for, um... You know, I you know I can just say fuck it. I can just dump... I can just upgrade Kamiyama Shop right now. I think it's half a million for the next one. We could just do that now. Points carry over, points don't carry over. It doesn't really matter. Fuck it, just do that. We we'll want to keep a lot of points in reserve because there's upgrade items there. And if we really want to upgrade someone's gun in the future, then... Bam, we can get it there. I look forward to um, the next time. A friend invited me to a Chinese buffet at a hotel. Everything's like the Peking duck and shark fin soup or all you can eat. But I ended up, um, uh, I ended up all I having was um, stuff like ma uh, Mapo Dofu. What's Mapo Dofu? Mapo, I believe, is meat. What's Mapo Dofu? Uh, or do they just mean tofu? Okay, I searched this. They just mean Mapo Tofu. I think this is just a mistranslation. Or maybe Dofu is more similar to how it's said in Chinese. I search Mapu Dofu as it's written there, and Google tells me, Did you mean Mapo Tofu? Speaking of Mapu Tofu, that is what I am planning on trying to uh, make for my dinner for next week. I've never had it. I've never had it at a place, but I would like it because, well, it's meat and tofu. I like those things. And I think a lot of the recipes were using Szechuan, um, or however it's pronounced, Szechuan, whatever it is. Did I Chinese food akiyama san So I would probably very much like it. People who say that they don't like the taste of tofu are cowards, by the way. I like spicy food. I eat ramen a lot. Does that count? I like sweet food is the option. There, that ought to do it. Wait, no. No, we're not going back in. We gotta do this. Gotta do the Akiyama spin. Wait, good. I was gonna go the other way. That's a Millennium Tower. I'm a dumbass. Hello? Tina from Jewel. Oh, hi, you know. What's up? I was just wondering if you'd like to go with me tonight. My shift's ending now, so. Sure, that'd be great. Sure, meet for a Millennium Tower. Millennium Tower. Got it. It's a lot easier to get to these ones on time, doing this, because we don't have to worry about people fighting us on the way. It does make it a lot easier to walk around. Without having to fight people constantly. Though, we can't walk through Theatre Square. And we can't enter Nakamichi Street from the top of it. So, you know. You win some, you lose some. What? 3 million yen? If you invested more, your return would be even greater. But I understand more um, would be hard to come up with. 3 million is the minimum, though. Minimum 3 million yen. Wow. That's a lot to come up with. But once you do, you're guaranteed a big profit. Scam artist always in Kamarocho. Well, think about it. Oh, Akiyama san. What was that about 30 million yen? You heard? I mean, it's a regular at the club. His name is Mr. Um, sorry, Tezuka san. He started, uh, he started a, a water supply business in China. Ask me if I want to get in on it. The minimum investment is 3 million yen. <gasps> Weren't we bullshitted out of water in a substory before? Actually, now that I think about it, hasn't there been multiple sub-stories that are involving water as a scam? There's the water one from Zero. There's the water filter one in, I believe, three. <laughs> water supply business, huh? That's a lot of money. 
something that I need money for right now, so I'm really considering his offer. Well, if you're looking for an investment opportunity, it does sound tempting, doesn't it? It does. I really have to think go, about go, it. Go, go. Oh, sorry, this is our date. We don't have to talk about all this now. Where should we go? We're going singing! You want to do stuff to people who sing good, so we're going to go and sing good. I wonder what I should sing today. See, there's also other games like bowling and darts and stuff, but... I'm going to guess in this game, they're not changing from Yarkas or 4. So, we don't strictly have to go out of our way to go and do them. <laughs> it's like, so much of this, I imagine, would just be built on Yarkas or 4, that if a lot of stuff hasn't changed, I wouldn't be surprised. Also, it'll be 1,000 for the two of you. Should I take you to a booth? Ah, uh, all the money. All the money. <laughs> I imagine bowling a pool uh, um, and like actually work in this game with its locked frame rate. <laughs> I mean, the game doesn't have a locked frame rate in the zombie stuff. The game doesn't have a locked frame rate in the zombies, but it would be functional on like the remaster's broken um, um, issues because of the frame rate. That is true. Where has your touch gone? This is one of the not as interesting ones. I feel like I always go, which is the worst one? Which is the really bad one? And I feel like I constantly change my mind between this and the shooting star one. Of like, which is the worst one? It's one of the ones that was introduced in Yakuza 3. I remember when we first did it in Yakuza 3 and it was just like, wow, that was boring. Don't get to the top. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I think this is the bad one. <laughs> it is just not very interesting. Again, it's no get to the top. Karaoke is definitely one of those things where you can see as the games go on just how much they improved on that. As in, because we're playing this game outside of release order in so many different ways with like remasters and remakes and zero existing. Like if you play through all the games chronologically and play the original versions, um, or I guess the remasters are fine for like three and four other than certain glitches or anything like that. You could see like how a lot of the mini games do evolve as time goes on and how they change. But because we're playing it in this weird fucked up order that we are doing, <laughs> what things are is constantly changing. How about a do it? There we go. Well, you can definitely see how there are certain aspects of the game that definitely improve and change as they iterate on the same thing as the game goes on. Karaoke is one of the big examples. You just have a look at what karaoke is in Yakuza 0 compared to this. I mean, even 3 to 4. Like, 3 was the first game that had it, and then you see the jump between 3 and 4's karaoke. Which makes me um, curious about Yakuza 5's karaoke. Yakuza 5 is also the same engine as Zero. And obviously a bunch of characters, so maybe a bunch of characters.
This song is so fucking good. And Akiyama's voice suits it so fucking well. Yakuza 4 introduced Machine Gun Kiss, obviously a direct vertical improvement. I mean, like, that's, like... Jokes aside, that is a fantastic comparison. Yo, I beat my high score. Machine Gun Kiss is a perfect comparison point of how, because Yakuza is iterating on the same game constantly. Hey, we took number one place now because we're not tied anymore. Um, <laughs> Yuna technically gets that. You're great the harmonies. It's like we were made for each other, Akiyama san. It's still weird to bring a hostess to a karaoke bar and sing specifically Pure Love and Kamurocho. That's a really funny song to sing with a hostess. But, um, yeah, like, what is Kiryu's, um, karaoke song in Yakuza 3? What's the one song that Kiryu has in that game? It's Kamurocho Lullaby. Not a bad song by any means. But you compare Kamurocho Lullaby in Yakuza 3 which is their first game with karaoke, to Yakuza 4, their second game with karaoke, and Kiryu has Machine Gun Kiss. <laughs> and it's one of the aspects of Yakuza that I think you can find um, is really fascinating because of its, like, unique way that it, it does it, does it that, like, most franchises don't do. Whew, I feel so good. I really sang to my heart's content. And beautifully, too. Really good at keeping me, um, keeping the mood up. Really surprised me how <laughs> into it you were. Really good time today. Let's go against the time. Well, I'll be going. But, yeah, because because most franchises don't go as blatantly hard into the. So much of this game is built on what the previous game had. We will just like add a couple extra things onto it or freshen up some things that are in the old ones. Like, we've been running around in Kamarocha for five games now, right? <laughs> we've been running around in Kamarocha for five games. Like, for what? For how much people say that all games, like, some games and some franchises are just, like, the same game, but again. Yakuza isn't that, because the story is so completely different. The story is so different um, in a lot of ways for how it does it, that you can't really say the Yakuza games are the same, even if a lot of the elements of, like, the base game is the same the stories stand out so much as what they are that you still very much consider, oh, this is Yakuza 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, and stuff like that. But because so much of the, like, the elements around it are the same, you can actually see that improvement as it goes on. And again, sometimes they'll use it with it to fuck with you, which is what this game is doing. I've mentioned it before about just how running around in the zombie areas is, like, deliberately fucking with you because of how much you're going to know Kamarocho if you're someone who's played a shitload of these games. I went to the wrong place. 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 I forgot we're going to the jewel, aren't we? Sorry, I'm just gonna skip through this. Literally, while well, talking about being familiar with Kamarachi, it went to the wrong place. Well, it's because we did the fucking... We did this earlier this stream of going from karaoke to the hostess bar around the corner. We did that earlier this stream, and I got confused. And I got confused. I got myself very confused. Right, yeah. Because we're going to the other one, that's way up there. The game- As I said, the game's fucking with you! Fucking with the fact that you know the place. The game will deliberately trick you up with that by changing things up. And that's why I went to Shine instead of Jewel. Because Dead Souls is playing with your expectations of knowing the place. She went to a mosh pit. <laughs> she went to a mosh pit. Invite me next to our youth. You can go to you can go to mosh pit, Akiyama. I was in a mosh pit. 
just last week, and I'm 29! It took like two days to recover from, but it's fine. I just really can't remember, doesn't know where the Mahjong- No, I know where the Mahjong is! I just wasn't confident that the place was called Orchid Play- or Orchid Palace. I just wasn't confident that it was called Orchid Palace. <laughs> I know where it is, it's next to a Bisu Pawn. Well, on the same street as a Bisu Pawn. I just wasn't confident of the name because I don't go there. <laughs> Now we're in the right place. Now we're in the right place. Now we're seeing, you know. Now we're here. Things take me out after work. I hope you enjoy yourself here. I had a wonderful time. You like Shanghai cuisine, don't you? I guess I do. I'm not much. So that is the thing. I'm not much for Szechuan. I was correct. I was correct. Mapo tofu is a Szechuan flavor. I was correct. <laughs> Makes me happy to think you like something from my homeland. <laughs> I, I like my familiarity with Chinese food is what white people consider Chinese food here. So my understanding of what Chinese food is is probably very different to stuff that you'd actually buy in China. I have 13k. <laughs> Shit. Hi. I have 13k because I went to the wrong place. I will need to actually go and sell stuff. I will actually need to go and sell stuff to be able to. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, we're gonna go straight from this to being on the second date. And you go straight from the second date back to the cover, um, to the, um, to the club. I'm gonna need to, like, delay the date to go buy a plate and sell it for points. Shit. Stories around town. What stories do you like? Do you like creamy dessert? You like creamy desserts! She also likes chunky Chinese chili oil. Which, I know about that. That's Lao Gan Ma. Which is fucking delicious, by the way. Would you use Lao Gan Ma to make Mapo Tofu? I'm gonna look that up, because I bet you... I bet that's... A, I imagine... Well, maybe not specifically that. Maybe not specifically that one, but I imagine you'd use chili oil to make Mapo Tofu. Homemade chili. I mean, yeah, the recipes are all listed. Okay, what if I just Google Mapo Tofu? Uh, <laughs> Mapo Tofu L immediately. Log on Ma. Yes. 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 Elevate your Mapo Tofu with this secret ingre um, ingredient. I think the secret ingredient is literally just Log on Ma. <laughs> uh. The thing is, like, I I like Lagon Ma, but there's nothing that I cook that I actually use it in. Um, so if I'm using, if I'm doing, uh, if I have Lagon Ma, the main thing that I've ever used it for is shoving like a teaspoon of it into fucking instant mee goreng, <laughs> which is also incredibly tasty because it's Lagon Ma. It's incredibly tasty. But yeah. Have you tried those new creamy desserts like creamy sponge cake or creamy donuts? Yes, I have. There's so something creamy inside. They're really good. Do you like things like that too? Yeah, and these days you can buy high quality desserts at convenience stores without having to wait in long lines at specialty shops. It's so easy to pick up. I end up buying that kind of thing a lot. Me too. I love a man who likes desserts. I mean, have you ever discovered a great find? I guess the I, I guess I guess the creamy dessert thing is meant to be a topic of conversation here, because like Japanese desserts would be stuff like red bean pudding. <laughs> so I, I I imagine yeah. Creamy desserts probably wouldn't be as common in Japan if their other desserts are more along the lines of stuff like that. So it actually stands out as, oh, this is a different thing. Like, this is a very different thing. Because, like, creamy dessert would be the most common type of dessert here. If you're getting a, if you're getting a desserty thing, it's, it's going to be, like, creamy or very, very sweet either way. It'll be, like, a cake, which, is, like, that is stupidly sweet, or a clairs. 
I'm working as a hostess trying to save up enough money to make my dream come true. Oh yeah, what's your dream? I want to start a company. Actually, I started a company once before with a friend of mine. Really? What kind of company was it? Well, I love Japanese anime, so I wanted to spread awareness of that kind of Japanese culture. So I started a company to introduce people to Japanese subculture through animated cartoons on the internet. Oh my god. Oh my god, you are an anime reviewer on YouTube. <laughs> sometimes I did reports and sometimes I narrated. Wow, that sounds pretty interesting. Did it make any money? Nope. I said it was only about 60000 a month. <laughs> but it was really fun. Fun. Now I have all kinds of new ideas. She founded Kiss Anime. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! By the way, that's basically nothing. My, my salary was uh, 60,000 yen a month. That is like... And she mentioned she lives with her parents, so at least she's not paying rent, but fuck. <laughs> fuck. It was really fun. And now I have all kinds of new ideas. <laughs> failure, <laughs> failure leads to success, as they say. Uh... Uh... Oh, I was about to say, I can't see it here. Right, this is after first visit, so it's a different thing. It's a different thing, yeah. Uh, failure leads to success, I was correct. Failure leads to success, as they say. With that positive outlook, you're bound to succeed someday. I hope you're right. But even though I'm full of confidence, it's still hard to make things go as I planned. Girl. There are plenty of international successes who have failed once or twice before they made it. The important thing is to never give up. <laughs> Thank you, Akuma san. Now I feel like I can do anything. I won't give up on my dream. So it's just Kiri sitting on the standing on top of the roof of Serena. Just being like, I have to fight for people. Their dreams depend on us. I have to help this woman spread the good word of anime. <laughs> That's a spirit. I bet you'll do great. I was not. What kind of company do you want to create exactly? Something to do with subculture like before? The idea I have right now is a maid place. <laughs> One of those places where the waitresses dress up in French maid outfits. Oh my god, she's gonna make a maid cafe next. She really is a taco as hell. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I could open a small maid eatery. Mm. What would it be like? It'd be like an old-fashioned pub with maids to wait on you. <laughs> you know, a nice place for businessmen to stop by on their way home from work. It'd be a big hit, don't you think? <laughs> a maid cafe in China. Would you wear a maid outfit too? <laughs> That's the qu That's the thing. Would you wear a maid outfit too? As the owner, you wouldn't be there on the floor much, huh? Of course I would wear one. It's one of the main reasons for wanting to do this. <laughs> then why don't you just work at a maid cafe? Why not open up a small eatery? Why does it have to be a maid one? <laughs> because I want a maid one! You come visit once I open it, won't you? Oh boy. Well, if you're gonna wear a maid outfit, I bet your business will do just fine. <laughs> Can I be honest? I don't get the maid outfit obsession. Just being completely real, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get why- Oh, maid outfit, that's so sexy. I don't get it. I don't get it. Is the idea of just you find a woman doing housework or a woman, like, catering for you sexy? Is it just that? Because if it's that, I also don't get it. <laughs> I think the other type always remembers anniversaries and things like that. <laughs> no! Not even slightly! Literally one of the first things we ever saw of this man was him forgetting a collection date. Well, that's how it gets yelled at because I forgot. Hana-chan. Okay. Really? Well, that's how we would uh, remember a girl's birthday, make a reservation, and give her a romantic celebration. No, I'd ask my secretary to do that, and then she'd still go off at me for forgetting it. Submission or something? I don't know, same with nurses or something? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, I'm like Spike. I'm like Spike. I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. <laughs> so that's, that's just my- that's just- that's just difference of people. What's my type of woman? Uh, I want to be- I- I- if I'm around her, I want to be scared that she's going to, like, punch me in the face. <laughs> that- that's- that's my type. But like in a consensual hot way, not like a domestic abuse way. Very clear on that. In, in a in a hot, sexy way, not in a domestic abuse way. Not that. My kink isn't domestic abuse. Haha. <laughs> 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 what you're trying to say is that you um you like that kind of thing, right? I haven't had a birthday like that in a long time. 
Last year I just had too much to drink with some friends. I gotta help you celebrate your next birthday. Really? I'll be expecting a present too. A present. Mm, okay. Oh, this is a oh, this is one of these. I'll I'll get you a new bra. Lingerie. Look at her eyes. Beautiful eyes. Glasses? Glasses is what we're going for? Okay, apparently glasses. I'll buy some glasses. How about glasses? You look nice in my bed. Glasses? What kind? Black rooms ones. Perfect for an intelligent girl like you. Oh, you're a smooth talker, aren't you? They'd make me look more like a teacher. But you have to remember not to leave them, um, leave them anywhere. You are a teacher. <laughs> you're literally a teacher. What's the matter? My parents might be going back to China soon. Really? Why? They've saved up plenty of money and now that they're in their 50s, they want to go home. Understandable. So they didn't plan on staying in Japan permanently, huh? No. They're saying they want to take me with them, but I want to start a business in Japan. I think I'd better hurry up and open a company so they won't try to make me go back. <laughs> Is that your only reason? <laughs> uh, not something you should rush into. It's not something you should rush into. You don't make any hasty decisions. If you're really serious about starting a business, you gotta do it right. You're right. If I jump into something hastily, that'll just make my parents worry all the more. Exactly. And your parents have years of experience doing business in Japan. They'll see right through any half-baked plans. You're absolutely right. I'll have to come up with a business plan that's so good they might even want to stay in Japan themselves. That a girl. And now I call it here, because I have enough things. Yay! So soon? Oh. Oh dear god, I have... Oh god. Alright, well we definitely need to sell some stuff before the next one. Hi okay, Kamasan. I'm gonna grab your ear and squeeze it. Oh, because she's also gonna call us for the date. Would I have enough time to not get in trouble with the date if I go to Cafe Elves? Get a gold plate, or six. <laughs> then sell them at a basic pawn, and then run to Millennium Tower. That should be fine, right? We've been fine before with, like, not being yelled at for being late to host our stuff. When we've taken, fucking, like, three fights to get there. I went to a maid cafe for the first time in a while. I bet you'd like that, right, akiyama san It was so fun, I ended up going to five of them. I wish our players had a cosplay day or something. I bet you'd like that, right, akiyama san Why does wear a maid outfit every day? Um, I don't like made hostess clubs. All right, I'll trust you, Sir Xe's successor. Who's actually writing this guide? I can't just say Sir Xe for guides anymore. Who is this written by? Willie GP. Willie GP coming in through the MVP for saving the day on this one for writing a guide that like before the one game that Sir Xe doesn't have. Hello, it's me, Yuna. Oh, hi, you know what's up? I'd like to see you. If you're not busy, I was wondering if you'd like to go out with me before the club. A date? That sounds good. Should we meet on the Millennium Tower again? Like last time. Millennium Tower it is. Can't wait. I'll see you there. Run to the cafe. Then run to the pawn shop. I need money for our hot date. Let me get seven plates. I think the next investment is half a million. I think the next investment was half a million. I think the first one was 100k. I think we saw the next one was 500. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that. But, either way, I think in half a k for that, we'll have some money for the hostesses that we're still going to do here. And then we're probably going to want money for any guns or upgrades that we're going to be getting. So we'll do that. We can also spend a... Also, we're gonna, we'll spend a bit of time today. We'll spend a little bit of time today trying to get that um, polymer <laughs> to upgrade Dakiyama's guns. Can anyone, um, uh, Densha, if you're around, can you have a look at that guide that you showed me? Is there a list of, like, how to get certain drops? Seven is my entire I was about to say, why can't I get more than seven? I have more points than that. But it's for, um, inventory space reasons. Can you have a look at the guide and see if there's anything about, um drops for things of like what what do we need to kill the drop high density polymer we've gotten some as rewards but we have gotten some as drops i would look through the guide but 
if they're laid out like the other guides, they'll have lists of playable characters and how to upgrade them and stuff like that. So, I don't want to look through that and then just go, <gasps> Daigo Dojima! Which is still what I'm betting. That's still my bet. Actually, no, my, my, my bet is Saitama. My bet is Saitama. But, but, I would like it to be Daigo. <laughs> It would make sense that the playable cast is just the same as Fours, but Tiny Mora did drugs, so now it's Majima instead. It would make sense, but I can hope. That also means You're that also it. means if Daigo shows up, that we won't get to play as Sajima, and that would suck because Sa maybe Sajima should have been in this game instead of Akiyama, and then we also have Daigo because there's um fucking they're the two characters who use guns. <laughs> Akiyama doesn't use guns. Where are my things? There they are. Sell off all seven of these. There we go. Guide says zombies. Cool. Subterranea store? Oh, there's a store on the subterranea? There's a list of your zombie drop these materials, but also includes uh, what subsoils reward materials and include the uh, names characters you don't know. So yeah, there's that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, there's one character that we don't know. Because we know Majima. I learned about that back in Zero. That one was unavoidable. That would have been hype to see. Oh my god, Majima's playable in this. But I, I learned about that back in Zero. There's uh, there's no way I was avoiding that. Because the whole thing was just like, Majima's playable in this game. It's the first time that he's playing a game that's canon. Because the only other time he was playable was Dead Souls. And obviously Kiryu. Because obviously Kiryu. So we came into this not knowing two characters. And then it's Akiyama. And I'm still betting Sajima. I'm still betting Sajima. But if it isn't Saijima, because maybe he did actually go back to prison, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe after that thing at the end that we saw there, he did actually just go to prison. Oh my god. It's this, it's this dude. Maybe if Saijima did go back to prison, it will be Daigo. I just wanted to be Daigo so badly because Daigo with gun. I, I don't know who would be a better choice than Daigo because Daigo with gun. Isn't that Tezuka the one who was talking to you know about investment? Invest three million. Or Haruka. It could be Haruka with gun. It could be that Haruka's going around shooting with gun and then the scene that we saw at the start of this game happens. It could be Haruka. It could be Haruka. It could be. But that would require a playable female character in these games, and that's not happening, so it's not Haruka. You invest three million now, you get all that back in six months. After that, it's pure profit. Three million, so much money. You want your own club, right? Who knows how many years you, um, that'll take just working as a hostess. Oh my god, it's the same spiel. In the same location, too. I'd like to hear more about this opportunity. Alright, let's go to a coffee shop or something and talk then. So this is going around to a bunch of different hostesses to raise capital, huh? Sorry, Akiyama. I just ran to an old friend back there. No problem. I just got in myself. Are you ready to go? Where shall we go? Oh, we're not going to discuss what happened there. We're not going to discuss that. Let's go to eat. Let's go to Watami. Watami! Everyone loves Watami. Everyone loves Watami. Because, again, it's sponsored. <laughs> it's sponsored, so everyone has to like it. Watami's such a great place to relax. The food is great, too. Try that next time you're in Kabuchiko. <laughs> So now thinking of all of this, it's making me think about the matcha place that's in the city. Well, I walked past it the, the other day. Didn't go there, but we were just walking past there to get to somewhere else. And they completely renovated, and now it's a bigger place. I'm just like, oh, i got to go back there. Because they had a bunch of Japanese street food, and I've never tried it there. Every time I go there, I'm just like, I should try the Japanese street food. And then I either get, like, a fucking matcha parfait or matcha tiramisu or black sesame, those same things, or ice cream. Because <laughs> I know because I know what I like. But I'm just like, i got to try their street food. Also, the ramen place that's literally across from it also has a larger range of street food now. And I can try that, but I know if I went there, I'd just go, I'll get the ramen, thank you. <laughs> Does that start with a drink? Guess I should do the ordering. Alright, well we got a Moscow Mule last time, but we're going to get more this time. So we're going to get Umeshi on the rocks, and we're going to get... Well, you like Yamazaki. You like Yamazaki, so... Is Kaku whiskey? I forget. I'm gonna get it anyways. We're gonna get that. <laughs> she likes whiskey, so we're gonna order something with whiskey. 
Um, and she likes fruit, so she likes the sweet things or the healthy things. Shrimp and avocado spring rolls. Vegetable salad, Hokkaido things here. What's yam? I feel like I've asked this before, but I've forgotten. What is yam? Yam. We're gonna, we're gonna go for the unhealthiest and the healthiest. Stuff. Actually, no. Shark's fin, because you talked about shark fin back in China. Shark fin. And we'll get... Well, and no, this is dessert. Because you like sweets and creamy and stuff like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm still sweet potatoes, more or less. Oh, okay, okay. I have asked this. They're not the purple um, potatoes, right? They're not like the purple ones that we've seen in some of these. I also think the purple ones that we saw were an Okinawan thing. The purple sweet potato. I think, I think the purple sweet potato had a specific name to it. I now can't remember. Either way, if, if you am a sweet potato, I don't like it. I do not like sweet potato at all. I think I forgot to eat a few of my fa- No, I ordered the bad stuff. No. I got the shark fin. You were talking about shark fin before. Or was it the other girl who was talking about shark fin? Now I'm not sure, actually. Or was it me talking about shark fin? May that It may have also been that. It may have also been that. Yeah. I don't- I don't know if it's a completely psychosomatic thing. It could be. I don't like sweet potato because to me it tastes the same as pumpkin. And I don't know if that's just my brain playing a trick on me because sweet potato also looks like pumpkin. I mean, I know I don't like pumpkin and I never have. So I don't know if my brain's just tricking me and just go, looking at a sweet potato and just going, that is pumpkin, and then I eat it. And then just because the visual element of it is so strong, my brain just goes, that also tastes like pumpkin. So therefore, I don't like it. It could be that. I don't know. But I know. But I. But I, every time I've tried sweet potato, I've never liked it. But I haven't tried purple sweet potatoes. So I was going out with you today before my shift. Akiyama-san, do you like made theme places? I think it all depends on the service. And there's regular waitresses and costumes. I don't get that Lord of the Manor feeling. I totally agree. And some um, people like those places that have those made singing and dancing like pop stars. But I think it's just plain wrong. You really know your stuff. Only in passing, really. <laughs> I've got the money now. Let's order the Yamazaki. Last time we did this, we didn't actually fill out the hearts. So let's order the Yamazaki this time. So I don't have to do the extra three questions. Maybe. Maybe. And then the fruit platter. So now I'm fucking loaded. Because I get points for killing zombies. See, poster streams are perfect. What other what other Yakuza streams do I get an excuse to just food rain all the time? Don't say anything. Shut up. <laughs> Don't even talk. Don't even mention anything. I don't know what the fuck you'd... I don't even know what the fuck you'd even mention. There's nothing you could say. <laughs> Interesting stories. I already told you about the compas, so I can't think of anything. What was the other thing? Oh, the Lagon Ma. Right. I mentioned Lagon Ma because Chunky Chinese Chili. Oh, yeah. I mentioned before that my parents were thinking about I'm closing the shop and going back to China, right? Yeah, did they actually pick a day? Yes, they're closing in two months. I knew they'd be going back someday, but I didn't think it'd be so soon. It's all happened so fast. You're gonna stay behind Japan? I always plan to. I thought I'd be fine on my own. But now that time is actually here, I suddenly feel nervous about the idea. Maybe the reason why I've always been able to do well, so well in here in Japan is because they've always been by my side whenever I needed them. I deserve credit for raising me here so well. It couldn't have been easy for them in a foreign country. I still want to start a company, but I want to be with my parents too. I don't know what to do. I'd miss you. Oh my god, that is the correct answer. Guilt trip! Guilt trip! I'd miss you. I thought for sure you'd be staying here in Japan. You don't want me to go back to China? Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. It's a bonus that didn't affect your whole life. Now I'm really anxious about making a decision. But if you want me to stay, maybe I will. Heh, I'd like that. But you gotta stop what's best for you. Thank you. <laughs> Seed has been planted, and now she'll stay here. I wonder what I should do about that investment. You mean the one that Suzuki guy was talking about? Yes, yeah, so if I get a good return, I think I have enough money to start my company. I try to save just by working 
Kiri. Uh, I was to say Kiri. Akiyama, you gotta mention it. If I try to save this by working, it'll take years. But still, a minimum investment of 3 million is such a high hurdle. 3 million yen, huh? Have you considered taking out a loan? I sure wasn't jump change. Exactly. I know what to do. Is it a deal you can trust? That's what we ask. You should save up the money on your own. That's what we do. You should save up the money on your own. Easy money doesn't come all that easy. Like, I can get financing at a bank. Unless I do something like this. I don't see how I can get that kind of, that kind of money I need. Akiyama. Mention Sky Finance. Don't tell her you're there. Just mention Sky Finance. Lala fell in and can't get up. Oh, Lala fallen and can't get up. Did you actually say that as a name? Because that's fantastic. Boy. What are you talking about? Lots of men come to the club just to see you. I was making, making a lot of money from being a hostess. I think you should keep at it. Slow and steady. If anyone can do it, you can. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. It'd be great to realize my dreams are my own strengths. I think I'll keep at it. Just like you said. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. Just so, so. by pure chance I found the perfect property the other day. Property? House or something? A place up in my business. A small restaurant called um, Kagorazaki that just closed last month. Wow. So you could probably use um, use it without much remodeling. It's a nice cozy little place with two tables and ten counter seats. It's just perfect. But even the deposit is way more than I can afford. So I feel like... And this is probably... This is probably just a difference in terms of like how places operate. A place that small in Australia wouldn't exist. <laughs> a place with two tables. I mean, I know there's ten counter seats. Though, counter seats also aren't that much of a thing in Australia either. But like, a place here would not be caught dead with two tables to serve out. <laughs> We don't have those tiny little places. Like, there's plenty of places in this game that are the tiny little things. Like, you see the bars in this game, like Earth Angel, where it's a couple of things, and that's the entire bar. That just does not exist here. We can't have small bars in Australia. Where the fuck is the giant pokies room gonna be? Even the posits way more than I can afford. Uh, do you want me to loan you some money? No. Akiyama, mention... Sky Finance. Too bad, I guess you'll have to give it up. Come on, this is mean spirited. It's too bad, but I guess you'll have to give it up. You don't even have enough money for the rent, you'll never have enough, um, enough to run the place. There'd be maintenance costs too. I'm sure you find another good property someday. Don't be discouraged. Thank you. It's a shame about this one, but I'll just keep looking around. That a girl. Once you're ready, I'm sure you'll find the right pit. I'm starting to think you might be right. Oh, don't give me, don't let me be quarter of a heart away. Oh, good God, for fuck's sakes. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. No, I'm not ordering anything. God damn it. And I spent the extra 20k on the Yamazaki anyways. Uh, what other jobs have you had besides hostess and Chinese teacher? I've had quite a few old jobs, actually. Such as. Oh, too many to list. Hardest one I ever had was when I worked at a beef ball place, though. A beef ball place? Hey, it must be pretty rough to be on your feet all the time. No, I didn't have any problem with that. It was the putting the pickled ginger garnish, um, ginger garnish on that was rough. I still get the day to, uh, even if a quarter away. I'd assume you have to be max for it to even activate. Fucking the beef ball place um, that opened up near my work. It's like a chain place, but there's like only six of them across like all of Sydney. But they've got like, here's your counter. You got like a spot for your counter. Then you've got the, another spot that's like, oh, here's all the street food that we sell. And then you've got where they um, give you the food. And then next to that is just the giant window. And that bench at the window is where they make all the noodles fresh. <laughs> so you just walk past and you just see, and you just see the dudes with these giant things that they're just spinning around to make the noodles. And I'm just like, damn, you know what you're doing. <laughs> People walk past that and they just go like, oh my god, they're making fresh noodles right now. Which they have to make them fresh because you can order seven different thicknesses of noodle. It's a fantastic place. It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. What's so rough about that? Whenever I smell pickled ginger, I start to hallucinate. What? The pickled ginger was always running out, so I had to refill the canister all the time. So I kept getting hallucinations. That was bad. <laughs> you must be wired funny. Oh, that doesn't sound normal. Hallucinate. Oh, that doesn't sound normal. Did you get yourself checked out by a doctor? 
Been serious here. I really do get hallucinations. I've never heard of such a thing. Is that normal in China? I don't know. We don't eat pickled ginger in China. Well, he must have been tied or something. I doubt ginger was the real culprit. You might be right. I'll have to experiment the next time I get a chance. I don't know if I've ever had pickled ginger. It might have been pickled ginger on some things that I've gone to and I not realize it's been specifically pickled. I typically don't like pickled things. Too salty for my taste. I was almost late today. Did you have a sleep? No, I even left the house early. I had extra time, so I stopped at a cafe. Then I saw someone interesting, which is now the second time that's happened. And you're so fascinated you lost track of time? Exactly. Ha, <laughs> just how handsome was this guy? Oh man, it was a woman. A woman? Well, how beautiful was she? Whenever I see a beautiful woman, I find myself watching her. I can't seem to help it. We stand up by queen. We stand up by sexual queen. I let her see what kind of jewelry she's wearing and try to guess what her perfume might be. And she had a ter uh, terrific figure. Big bust and tiny little waist. It's a great look, especially to an anime fan like me. It's almost sushi, but you don't like fish, so. I mean, I like sushi. I just don't like sushi that is fish. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't eat nigiri sushi, unless they do nigiri sushi that also doesn't have fish. But, like, I get sushi rolls that have non-fish things in them. But, yeah, I've never had pickled ginger on any of that. But I've also never been to a sushi restaurant. Like, if I go, to, if I get sushi, I get sushi takeaway. I've never been to a sushi restaurant. And I imagine that's where you'd get the pickled ginger with your sushi. It'd be, like, a side to, to top it with, not just the takeaway one. So, there's also that. You have a great figure yourself. Uh, is it a self-improvement thing? That's what we're asking. Are you looking at other women for clues on what to wear? Or do you just find them attractive because you're bisexual? I never really thought about it before. But I guess it is. Fashion doesn't come naturally to me, so I have to observe others. I try to exercise and keep as uh, regular schedule as I can. Although it's hard working at night. A uh, beauty putting in the effort to say beautiful, huh? I know about beauty. But it's nice to have my efforts recognized. Find every attractive woman is a lot of work. It was takeaway is generally a bit of ginger along, along with the wasabi. Okay, well, the place that I get sushi from for takeout doesn't have wasabi. They only have soy sauce. <laughs> you, you, I mean, they they do, like, you can order plates of it there, but I've never done that, and so few people do. They just have all the boxes lined up and people just take them. All the rolls lined up and people just take them. I think you can just order, like, a sit like a proper sit-down meal, but very few people do. You might get wasabi and pickled ginger with that. But for the takeaway stuff, it's always just the little fish soy packets. Just chuck, one, just chuck enough in there that you get two packets of soy sauce for one sushi roll. Which is so over the top. But that's how I like my soy sauce, so I'm glad they do it. Have you been to China, Akiyama san oh. Yeah, a few times. Places I went there were bustling and alive. Good memories. So but he couldn't go to Little Asia? He didn't know enough Chinese to go to Little Asia? You, think, you didn't think the dr um, driving manners were atrocious? Yeah, they were pretty bad. People don't even slow down for pedestrians. Yeah, right? When I was um, little, that was normal to me. It didn't scare me one bit. When I went back to China recently, after not having been back for several years, it's the cars to get the life out of me. I mean, wonder how I ever lived there. Yeah, here in Japan, people are generally pretty, pretty, uh, pretty mannerly, aren't they? Now, is this just the writer saying, those people in China are so rude, but people in Japan, they're so good. I guess my sensibilities are completely Japanese now. Is that weird? <laughs> it's normal. You've lived here for, for like freaking 12 years or so. Yeah. That's normal. People are wide to adapt the environment they're living in. It'd be weird if you didn't change it over time. Um, oh, probably you're doing that. I guess right. The Chinese people living in every part of the world. They get along just oh. fine. That's right. If you move back to China, you'd adopt that way of life again in no time. Thanks. I feel better now. I wonder what I was so worried about. Being run over by a car. <laughs> Being run over by a fucking car, that's what you're worried about. Yeah! Okay. SSR card! Woo! All I know is that it's so easy to get run over. It's easy to get run over where I live. As in, I've nearly been hit in um, the streets and parking lots around here. Quite frequently! So how much of that is just people don't care or pay attention, and how many of that is tranny and they try to run me over? It's honestly hard to say. It's honestly hard to say. Because some of it is definitely the second one. I've definitely been in parking lots. Like, especially the parking lot at work. Like, because the quickest exit from the parking lot is, like, from my shop, is to walk through the parking lot. 
And there's definitely been a number of times where I've been crossing one of the parts of the parking lot and the people there speed up when they see me. So how much of it is just they actively want to kill me? Hard to say. Drivers here are fucking psychopaths. Driver, I mean, this this may be more of a worldwide trend thing. I imagine it's probably a thing in America because I've also seen things for in America. So it's probably more than just Australia for this. But do other people in other parts of the world have like the general consensus among the public that if you're in a car and someone is on a bike, like a cycling bike, you have free reign to murder them? Because that is 100% the attitude in this country. If someone is if someone is cycling and you're in a car, you can murder them and like no one's going to fault you for it. And like I mean it when I say murder. There's a thing that was um, going around on the news a couple of days ago where like a, a, a bike was going along and um, like crossing at an intersection and a car came along. The car came over, drivers and other bikers no matter where you are. Yeah, I yeah, I imagine it's it's a worldwide thing. Because that's just car culture across the world, because car culture across the world is fucked up. But yeah, it was like the bike was going like this, and the car just turned over and completely ran over the person and just kept driving. And it was like someone else's dash cam footage that caught it. Like they just completely ran them over and kept driving off and just didn't even slow down. And the news put it, like, as a video on um, Facebook and Twitter. And almost all of the responses are just, the cyclists had what it was what was coming to them. And it's just like, what is it about driving a car that makes you think that murdering someone in a different form of transport is, like, morally justified or morally correct to do? Some places like Netherlands might be better because of the amount of bikers. Um... So one person that I follow on Twitter, um, Kate and Joshi, um, Joshi, which I'm probably mispronouncing the last name, um, follow him because he's like fantastic um, for a lot of climate stuff. Um, he used to live in Australia. He currently lives in Oslo, and he he talks about um, that a lot as well. Where um, other parts of the country, there's a, a lot of bikers and stuff, and it's fine. But Oslo specifically is like really toxic when it comes to um, um, bikes on the road and how much people in cars hate them. Like, Oslo specifically fucking hates people on bikes. So it's just like... So yeah, I, yeah, it's a worldwide thing. Which is just probably... It's a car culture thing. Of just... Oh, you're in a different mode of transport than I? Your life should end. I gave four Chinese lessons on a road this morning. That was more than the other time. Lots of people seem to want to learn Chinese these days. When I think about how my lessons help people communicate, I get really motivated. Don't cut to a clip from X-Play. Dear God, don't cut to a clip from X-Play. I should reply to an email. Let's see. Teaching's a fine profession. I admire you. Or I should study Chinese. One of the two. Maybe I should study Chinese too. That ought to do it. And now we do a bit of a run and a spin! Do I have to do anything to trigger this one? Okay, now I just get caught. Now she's motivated! Hi, Kiyama san. Oh, she's crying. Are you crying? What's the matter? I think I got scammed. Huh? What happened? That investment. The one for the water supply business in China. What? It's a scam! But the minimum investment was 30 million. I thought you didn't have that kind of money. I screwed up my courage and told my parents about it. And they said I could use the money they've been saving up for my wedding. Uh-oh. They were so hard for that money, and now... I don't know what to do. That Jazooka fellow, huh? Where is he now? I don't know. I gave him the money in a cafe. He said he had to use the men's room for a minute, but he never came back. He gave me a contract to sign. I was reading through it, so I didn't notice him leaving. Ah, now I get it. A simple but clever con. He had it all planned out. Okay, I'll look for Jazooka. Don't worry about a thing. Thank you. I'm really sorry about this. Alright. Cafe Alps. Well, one of the other cafes on Nakamichi Street. Alright, cool. There was another girl who was trying to scam, too. Because he's a prick. Do you know anything about this? You can get the theater. We're heading to the northwest. I can make it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Actually, oh, no, the other cafe is um, still open. I, get, I keep over-exaggerating in my mind how big of an area this new thing that took over is it's a it's actually a very small area that um that the zombies broke through 
Cafe Alps is also a weak point specifically for the zombies. Just because we we know that that may be a recon, because I think it's a Yakuza 2 thing. Because of um, Kiwami and Fiber Dragon Engine. The back of Cafe Alps leads to an alleyway, and that alleyway leads to some of the like back doors of the buildings on there. There are so many spots that would have little ins and outs that connect like quarantine zones and stuff. So if they don't block off all of those, like that one fucking shutter that exists um, on Chichifuku. Okay, it's not this one. It's probably Cafe Elves. It's not Pronto. All my homies hate Pronto. All my homies hate Pronto. Friendship ended with Pronto. Cafe Elves is my new best friend. As in, Pronto very rarely comes up in the stories for these um, games. But Cafe Elves has a weirdly consistent regularity in terms of a meeting place or things happening there or solving a fucking murder that one time in one of the best sub stories in the series genuinely genuinely that like Yakuza 3 for all of its sub stories that aren't good in that game because of the weirdly strict restrictions to unlocking them the time to get them and all the other bullshit fuck Pronto shitty ass day and night menu See, some people hate it for actual reasons. Some people hate it because it actually just changes, so it's getting completion points is much harder. And by that I mean Deku. <laughs> and Neon, I think Neon also does that. Uh, da, 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 da. Cafe, it says Cafe Alps! Oh no, I have to go find the hostess first. Oh, so I go to the other hostess club. Okay. Okay, I gotta go to the other um, hostess club first. To actually find them. Okay, we gotta find the other hostess that's been schemed. That's what's going on. Download it into the brain. Ow, I just stabbed myself with my nail there. <laughs> my nails have actually successfully grown quite long without shattering at the moment. And when I went to tap my head, I just stabbed myself with them. Excuse me, miss, do you know a fellow named Tezuka? What? What do you want? I'm looking for Tezuka. Do you have any idea where he is? Just about to meet up with him, actually. Oh, really? I mean, Chan's about to give him some money. What? How'd you know that? I wonder if, if I were you. He's a con artist. What? It's true. My friend was just scam, um, scammed by him, as a matter of fact. I know you are, but you all don't seem suspicious, quite frankly. Be you trying to scam me of my money yourself? Yes, I can't blame her. Oh, well. I'll just follow her. Put the meeting up at a cafe, too. Alright, here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my nails are weak and brittle as shit, so normally if they grow out, they will just start snapping. I can't be one of those people who has the super long nails, because my nails will just fucking break in half. It's probably the longest they've been in quite a long time, without just breaking. They will probably snap within the next couple of days. <laughs> Oops, pardon me. Hold it! You're to Zuka, aren't you? Huh? Who are you? Look, I'm in a hurry. Out of my way. The young lady at the back of the shop. She's with you, right? Then you have to tell her you're leaving. Oh, miss! Mr. Jazuka-san here says he's leaving! You shut the hell up! Who are you, anyway? So this is how you spend a dinner, is it? Round her like this? You're not gonna get away with it. Shit! You're gonna return every bit of money you con from Yuna. And this other lady. Son of a bitch! You'll never catch me! Hey! Oh! This is how we beat up the shit bags. In a zombie game where a normal combat doesn't exist and you mainly murder things by shooting them in the face. This is how we beat up ship bags. Oh. Oh. Ran to the quarantine zone. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> I like just fuck you, ran into the quarantine zone. How? Through where? <laughs> through what? Did he break through the fucking wall? Hey, guess what? Somehow this episode will actually feature zombies! Hey, look, it's zombies! Zombies are actually being featured in this episode! I wasn't sure if they would, but here they are! I was actually getting very curious if we were going to have an entire Dead Souls um, episode without a single zombie showing its face. But we do!
There we go. I don't know if we're gonna kill any zombies. I don't know if any of them died just then. That is such a why? Why? Why is this where you run? Also, bro, you're running away with all this money. Did you not immediately see the zombies and go? Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh my god. Fuck you! Oh my god. Surely you'd run in here and go, oh zombies, maybe this is not worth the money? Although, that wouldn't be like people in Kamarocho, would it? Or other people that we've already interacted with in this story, who see, zombies, this is a perfect way to get a lot of money somehow. <laughs> now that I think about it, there's already been like four or five different characters who have gone, all these zombies around would make it easy for me to scam someone out of money. So I guess I can't question it too much. Anyway, I kick this prick's ass. Uh -huh. Get fucked. What a pain in the ass you are, mister. You're gonna return every bit of that money of uh, that other girl's money, too. Yes, sir, forgive me. Now then, I'll go see that other girl first. Then I'll go see you now. How did you get in there? Oh, Akiyama-san! Yuna! I got your money back. Oh, thank you! Thank you! I don't know what you to say. You don't have to say anything at all. So you can do about your company now. I was such a fool. I'll save up the money on my own, like I should have in the first place. I won't give up. What about the money your parents gave you? Can't use that? No, I don't think so. Oh, why not? So my company is a big dream of mine, but so is having a beautiful wedding to a wonderful man. I'll save the money for that. Yeah, <laughs> I see. You know something? I realize I can always start a company on my own. But I can't get married by myself. Would you like to help me start along the path to that dream? What? Must be someone better for you out there than me. No, no, no one's better than you. Will you help me? Alright, if you're sure. And then Akiyama got married. I'll bet you 100 million gil that zombies do not exist. Easy money. <laughs> Oh, no! We're gonna have fucking Mr. Try and Touch Me show up in the middle of the zombies. That's what's gonna fucking happen. We're gonna have those fucking dudes from Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 3 who stroll down the street with, um, like, just... And they bump into people and try to scam out our money. But they're gonna do that to a zombie and just go, Hey, zombie, you bumped into me! Oh, I broke my arm! You better pay for... <laughs> Gil, Gil instead of Yen Brain Knot? Oh, my God. We both said that and didn't even notice. Yakuza 14... Uh, Yakuza 14! Final Fantasy 14 has destroyed us both. It has destroyed us both. Thank you, Akiyama-san. Looks like your spirit's lifted. Now you can concentrate on selling that business of yours. About my business. Would you like to start it with me? What's this now? Without you, by, without you by my side. I don't feel quite as sure of myself. I need you to, to help me. To keep me from making mistakes. I take the responsibility. There was literally a meme of every single time that you brought up FF14, we would take a shot. <laughs> Several times we had to go to the hospital for liver function problems, so... Help you, huh? I could go along with that. But I do have my own business already, so I have to be just here and there whenever I have time. Also, zombies! Oh, I'm so happy. I love you, Akiyama-san. Hostess up, sorry, cleared. There we go. And 10,000 points. And the... Yeah, it just doesn't show the level up here. I only gave you the first hit. If you keep coming back for more, that was on you. Wow! 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 Wow. <laughs> Look, just because the first hit's free doesn't mean that I'm trying to get you addicted. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so what do I do here? I have six at the moment to do this. I do have six. We have the round ass kick, which is nice. Getting up kick could be nice as well. There is evasion. But then there's also these. 
We do want the upgrades for the um, armor and weapons and stuff. It might be just worth it to just get all of these. Then there's also more of this. I think we got armor skill. I think there's armor that I can't get currently because I don't have this. So I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. At some point, we should probably focus on getting better focus as well. Anyhow, um, we're going to quickly pop over here. Can I still enter the quarantine zone um, from over here in this one? No. No, I can't do it there. That may have been the one that was welded shut. Some of them are well though, I can't remember which ones. Oh, <laughs> Chinese, it's easy. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. I want you to know how much I appreciate all your help. Without you, I don't know what I could have done. I'll do my best to stand on my own two feet from now on. But I do get lonely, so I hope you come find some time to still see me. Hey, she's anime posing. Cause she likes anime. Anyway, we're gonna go to this truck. We're gonna upgrade the truck. And then kill some zombies until I can upgrade a handgun? Oh, Invest in the place. Oh, no, the next one's 300. Never mind, that's way cheaper. Next, yeah, next one's 300. Okay. That was way cheaper. Ta da! Now I can buy even more advanced equipment. Because I can work fast now. I think I can offer mods at a lower price. Oh, okay. Upgrading, this is what we do first. I was just, I want some new items. Check them out when you have some time. You're a great customer. Uh, uh, Any more investments? What's the next level at? Oh, okay. Next one hits a million. We could do that now. That's another 700 um, in total. That's like three more of those plates. We could do that. We could do that. Anyway, let me see what you're selling. What are you selling? Ammo for everything. Stamina ends. Don't know if you're selling I don't know if any of this is new. I can't check out the weapons, can I? Because I'm full, because I picked up those fucking grenades. I need to dump these grenades and not pick them up. Can I dump grenades from this menu? I highly doubt it. Oh no, it's because I have two shotguns. Oh right, no, it's because I got the other shotgun. Right, no, I forgot about this. I forgot I got the other shotgun. Right. Right. I can do item stuff here, right? Yes, I can. I feel like I've gone to a uh, item box outside of here, forgetting that this one exists. I've also got to upgrade this. Went to all the effort of getting these things, and I've got to upgrade this. Um, move items, weapons. There's a tab. Okay, we're gonna dump the large automatic pistol, just so I can check out the shop. Cause there's probably a bunch of guns here. This is how every episode of this is going to end, by the way. Just being in this incredibly slow menu. Just looking at stuff. Every single episode is going to end the same way. So, the big pistol hunting shotgun. Automatic rifles. Portable Gatling gun. Grenade launcher! Grenade launcher! So, okay. So, heavy grenades. Does it have to use a specific type of grenade for the ammo for this? Can this use any grenade? Or does it have grenade launcher ammo? By the way, wow. There's a lot here. There's a lot of different there's a lot of different flow um throwable types in this. And a Gatling gun, sniper rifle, automatic rifle. I feel like a sniper could be good, but it's very expensive. Let's have a look at mods. Mod weapon. So what does it take for the Elise? Platinum plates. Platinum plates, which is an issue for money. To upgrade this to the Elise. We have the Seal of the Dragon, but the Platinum plate is... Urgh, they're expensive to get. I don't... Can we even buy them? Can you buy... I think the only way to get the Platinum plates that we've seen is, like, trading in at Mahjong. 
or any gambling, which would require a lot of winning to do that, or just buying the sticks. So, like, getting the high and low we could do with just one more polymer. The Elise is going to be a lot harder. The Flesh Road is the next edge of this, but this requires things that we've never even seen. Um, Agro Metal and Sacred Woods. More high density polymer to get a better machine gun, which goes into this thing. Powerful as shit rifles. Gatling gun, golden gun, and anti material rifle. Upgrading grenades. If the truck's better equipped, I can do that. Upgrade kendo stuff, and upgrade marina stuff as well. Okay. I mean, we have the fireworks gun, the flesh rider, but also need specific things for the flesh rider. Yeah, it's mainly just the high and low, because we use them a lot. And the shotguns are great, so our shotguns being as good as they are is good. However, mod equipment. We need to mod gear. We need to mod gear. First thing we need to mod is an accessory. Zero in lenses. Boost chance of finding enemy's weak point when aiming if you require the head dragging ability. Fuck yeah. I don't have enough parts. Oh, I need two shampoo. Oh, fucking kill me. Oh, I need two shampoos. Oh, I gotta walk to Donkey A Day. Ugh. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. What? There was one of these. Uh, yeah, I was upgrading the SWAT armor. A lot. So, yeah, now we can get a flak vest. And get the ultimate flak vest. Let you withstand explosions. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at the stats on these things. Um. I don't need these for anything. Go for the flak vest. Go, yeah. Upgrade it to the flak vest. Oh, the minions and this is slow. <laughs> After every upgrade, just gotta keep going back in. Because from this point, it should be money for a couple steps. Yes, it is. Might as well spin the juice on that. Uh, mod. No, no mod weapon. No mod weapon. Mod gear. Mod gear. So yeah, I will assume that points will carry over between characters. That's going to be my assumption. Points would carry over between characters because the spec up stuff carries over between characters. I will assume items and money won't. So before we finish this Akiyama, dump all of Akiyama's money into um, investing in the truck. Just to make it easier for future characters. Um, and then the next stage of this I can't do. Yeah. Well, we need ideas for design. The ultimate flak vest may be where this one ends. This may be where this one ends. Because these are design ones. Which is like the bloody binding. Which has a different thing. So this might be the last of this. If I could read the Japanese characters there. It might tell me. Sprinter's shirt. We're also going to do this. To run faster. There we go. That was one that we couldn't do. With um abilities and stuff. I think that was our armor ability that I now upgraded. We can do that. So now we can run faster if we put that on. There we go. You can get platinum plates from the DLC. Well, now it's very important. Now it's very important to work out how to get um, the DLC working. I'll check that out between streams. I'll have a look. See if I can actually load up the shop. See if it's free. See if it costs money. See if we can send a hostess to fight off the zombie hordes in a bikini. <laughs> All of the, you know, all the important things. All the important things. Anyway, to uh, waste as much fucking time as possible. To waste as much time as possible. Should I get much longer gambling? No. 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 I also like how you say gambling, as if Pachinko and Mahjong aren't gambling. Um, to waste as much time as possible, we're going to walk over to Don Quixote. We're going to buy a single tonic shampoo. We're going to come back... Upgrade this. And then we continue from there. And then we continue from there. Deku did say that we can get the polymer thing in Subterranea. So we could possibly upgrade because like we'll do obviously we'll have to do the story segment last. So we could up we could have um his upgraded guns for that. Probably won't act 
taken enough time between doing all of this that I won't just spend an hour on stream just killing zombies over and over again. Hoping one of them drops a polymer. We can save it for next time. If they're more likely to come by next time. I mean, depending on how long, like, the Spec Ops stuff take, the idea is next stream we're going to finish the Spec Ops that are available at Cafe Alps. We're going to, um, do the... Oh, that's the wrong spot. Where am I going? Don't care. I was thinking to be sweet porn. No, I don't need to sell anything. I'm going to Kyoto. I'm buying tonic shampoo. I forgot what I was doing. Yeah. The idea is for the next stream is that we do the spec ops. We do the subterranean. And depending on how long that stuff takes, we might finish Akiyama. That might be how we go about it. And we'll, and we'll just see how it goes from there. Tonic shampoo! And now let's walk all the way back. <laughs> Then we walk all the way back. And we upgrade that. And we'll save outside the front of the Millennium Tower. Actually, no, we'll... Mm, yeah, we, we will. We'll probably start with Spec Ops stuff next time. We'll probably start with that. Yeah. Spec Ops, Subterranea, story. Assuming we have enough time for all of that. Assuming we have enough time for all of that. And then we'll see how it goes. And then we'll see how it goes. And I imagine this game is overall going to go faster than Yakuza 4. I mean, I say that. In terms of the amount of stuff there is to do, it's probably that much faster. I'm just thinking specifically. In Yakuza 4, it was seven streams that we played as Akiyama. We played as Akiyama for a total of seven streams. With a small amount at the beginning of the 8th stream being fighting uh, Marshmallow's dude in Elise. Like a very small part of it. If we finish off Akiyama stuff next time, that'll be 6 streams as Akiyama. So it seems like one less. Which it is. Because that's how numbers work. But there was an entire stream last time as Akiyama doing fucking hostess training. So if you remove hostess training, which is what the devs should have done in Yakuza 4, then it's the same amount of time that was spent as Akiyama in Yakuza 4 and Dead Souls. This game is, honestly, this game is fascinating. I'm obviously enjoying it. It is Yakuza. I'm enjoying it, obviously. But the game is kind of fascinating. Just how much of it is so much, this is Yakuza. So much of it feels so heavily, this is Yakuza. Because it is just fucking Yakuza. Like, it has such a strong feeling of Yakuza across all of it. And then zombies and the combat is different. Oh, oh, no. And it's just like, it's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. I mean, typically, like, if games are gonna do their spin-offs, if games are gonna do their spin-offs, they normally just fully change the game to suit the spin-off, not keep the game the same as it was before and then do the spin-off. Though, as we discussed before, that kind of was a bit of a trend around this time. Red Dead Nightmare has a lot in common with normal Red Dead, but there is zombies. I think. It's still wild. It's still wild to me. Wow, I did a good job at clearing out all of my items, huh? There we go. These are the ones we're gonna have equipped, and then we have the ammo. I should probably... I should probably... I'm gonna save my money, so... Just so we don't have to do as much walking to get to Cafe Helps next time. <laughs> Um, I should probably take a healing item or two if we're going to be fighting off zombies, though. Having none of those is probably not a wise idea. I imagine I got rid of all the healing items because we were buying items to just transport around Kamaroto last time. I imagine that's what that was. Thank God for the Yakuza games that decide to put all of your gear and equipment into a different uh, inventory space compared to your normal items. So you can carry around all of that stuff without limiting how much other shit you can actually walk around with. Thank god, right? Actually, the healing items that I had on me probably got used to make this printer shirt, which I also do need to take out. Which I do also need to take out. There we go. No, I- no. There we go. That- there we go. There we go. 
And, uh... Let's just take three of those. We'll take three of those and we should be good. There we go. How much of it can I actually equip at this stage? Okay, I have one empty slot. I have one empty slot. Uh, lowers, uh, increases chance of shooting the enemy in the head without trying. And then that, we've just got two different things for shooting in the head. We'll go for the zero lens for, for the time being. Will the sprinter shirt work in this? I honestly can't tell. Is that increasing my run speed here? Is that increasing my run speed around the city as well? No. No, it doesn't it doesn't affect here, sadly. It doesn't affect here, sadly. Sadly, it seems not. Anyway, that's the riveting, amazing, incredible, unbelievable, super cool, outrageous, and amazing, phenomenal, fantastic, woohoo, hostess stream in this zombie game. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to that thing. Next time, we'll actually kill some zombies. Not the worst host stream we've ever had by a long shot. Nothing can beat that one particular one in Yakuza 3. Nothing can beat that one specific one in Yakuza 3. Where I would- where I just wanted to fucking shoot the game by the end of it. And that one I wish my character had a gun. Not to use on the hostess, but just take it out on someone. <laughs> but specific- Yaka- uh, again, Yakuza 3 hostesses feel like they were written by someone who had a major issue with women. Because... wow. Also, oh my god. Akiyama's like more <laughs> in this one specific aspect. In nothing else that Akiyama's acting, but in this one specific act aspect, Akiyama's like reacting to the zombie apocalypse that's existing around him. He's not smoking here. He is not having the pause of smoking. He's looking stressed and concerned for Hana. Now, unfortunately, he's not taking that personality or attitude into literally anything else that he's doing given proof by the fact that we just spent three hours trying to hook up with hostesses. But you know, when he stops and pauses for a second, he remembers that Han is in trouble, and now he's just like, oh god, I wasted so much time not saving her. She's definitely dead by this point. So there's that. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Next time we play as Akiyama, and we might finish playing as Akiyama next time? Oh okay, yeah, now he's crossing his arms. I don't know which game it actually starts with, but the newer games have like, contests for models and influences and like to become hostesses, so I don't know how that affects the writing process for their stories. I mean, once we get to the hostess, once we get to the games where the hostess content becomes like Yakuza 0, then it's fine. Yakuza 0, 1, and 2, their hostess stuff is much better. Because the way they do hostesses is a different function to how 3 and 4 and Dead Souls have done it. Oh, uh, I'm trying to remember Yakuza, I'm trying to remember Yakuza 1's hostesses. There was only two in that game. There was only two in that game. But I believe Yakuza 1 also had the thing of, they're like the face-to-face -face hostesses, where like the whole thing is voice acted, and there's in total like 10 questions for the hostess overall. Like the, like the training of hostesses in Yakuza 0 and um, Kwame 2. There was six or seven in each of those games. Um, but they had like three sessions each, and there was like three questions for each. It wasn't paragraphs upon paragraphs of it. So there wasn't that. Karami's the best hostess. <laughs> Probably the one that Kiri's the most likely to sleep with. <laughs> Probably that. Anyway. Anyway. I am out of here. Next time, we'll kill zombies in the zombie game. Ostensibly zombie game. So until then, this is version 2. Signing out. <laughs>